Opa! Welcome everybody to Stavi's World. We have an incredible show for you. One of my favorite comics, one of my favorite people, one of the first friends I've made in New York, Sydney Washington, is on the show today. But it's a very exciting time here at Stavi's World. We have the f- final shows of the Fat Rascal Tour. The final show ever of the Fat Rascal Tour is happening December 1st at the Beacon Theater. We sold out two shows already. We added a late show. Tickets are almost gone. I want you to be there. Come see me do this hour of material for the last time. And why is it the last time? Because a couple days later on December 5th, Fat Rascal, the special, is premiering on Netflix, streaming on Netflix, uh, and it'll be out there. I'm very proud of it. We worked really hard on it. And a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of exciting stuff I want you guys to be aware of. If you're in New York, come see me. If you're not in New York, please watch the special. And... If you want to learn a language, download Babbel. That's right. Um, if you want to learn it the easy way, if you want to learn a language the easy way, use our friends at Babbel that are sponsoring us. They're doing a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash Stavi. That's 55% off at babbel.com slash Stavi, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Stavi, Rules and restrictions apply, but check that out. If you want to be, you'll be speaking a new language in no time. Let's play the music. Opa! Welcome everybody to Stavi's World 904 800 Stav. We've got one of my favorites, Sydney Washington. We Hello. go all the way back from when I moved to New York. We were just talking. The pi- we were the the podcast you guys really want is with a half hour we were just talking shit Whoa. before <laughs> before we dropped <laughs> we re- some shit we really was- did some Woo! really good stuff I said man it's hot yeah you came in hot <laughs> you came sizzling, in hot sizzling fajitas in came in hot you're kind of spiraling right now truly it's awesome it's good it's nice because you're spiraling but you're under control. You know, no relapses. I'm sober. That's the only way. Sober. If you are going to unravel, it has to be on your own terms. (laughs) That's right. And it has to not (laughs) include tequila or cocaine or ketamine. No. And I'm doing that. So Good for you. I'm on the right path. You would have a great relapse. Like, I will say that. The first, like week would be sick mm, it would be the fall the the don't get me wrong it would ruin your life yes it would but absolutely. that first like three weeks i don't know the, the uh, you know i did a relapse oh, I didn't um, know that. I'm, I'm i've been sober six years okay but before that oh, yes, yes, i yes. started those two years yeah i relapsed i started drinking white wine mm. doing cocaine mm. and then riding my bike in 98 degree weather <laughs> from bushwick to harlem it was not good that's wild the fact that i did not die yeah. is crazy that's insane how that's, long was that bike ride oh when i tell you my ass was high yeah i mean oh, yeah, I was yeah. High, doing my bumps ass was high yeah, everything yeah, yeah. was high yeah. What yeah. were you going to Harlem for? Oh. On cocaine for pussy? Just, no. Just, <laughs> just for fun? Just the ride. The music was good. My speaker was fully charged. And I said, Damn. Wee! You know what? That's, even that's progress, though. I mean, mm-hmm. gl- I'm glad you're not relapsed, mm-hmm. whatever. But to go to get cardio in on cocaine? Yeah. Mu- much yeah. better than what you used to be doing. Oh, no. Absolutely. Much better than, like, you know. In my mind, I said, if I ride, I'm riding off. Right. All of the demons, right? That's Which what it is. I'm. Th- this is how dumb I am. Makes sense to me. Yeah, no, you no. know, like I'm like. Have I- you done it? <laughs> <laughs> Have you done it? You think I should get on cocaine? You want? To, you want my? Oh, I my didn't know relapse. demons were a physical <laughs> manifested physically in a in fat cells. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's um, too much. Yeah, um, so you you were you were here for years. You went to L.A. Yeah. Now you're back. Ooh, tough. L.A. took me out, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I was. Go- I didn't think I was gonna make it. Yeah. Oh, L.A. is not for anybody who has a soul. <laughs> no, no. It's for the soulless and the people who have purpose. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have that. You're just good no, at hanging out. No, no. I'm just a good person. You are. You're you're just, a good hang for real. That just, just so happens to be talented. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's extreme ADHD. Yep. Yep. Self sabotages. Yep. You know. Right. Classic. Just the reg. The yeah. Reg. If you yeah, I mean, it's honestly probably lucky you weren't there when you were younger, in the middle of your like relax. Because here, I feel like you know, as far as a hot girl on drugs, being a bottle girl. 
probably a, one of the better things you could do. Yeah, it's mass. Know? It's mass. It's actually way more accepted. When I got sober and I'm still bottle waitress and they were like, you have to get out. <laughs> you have to go. You're fucking up the vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the yeah. customers don't like it. Yeah, this hedge fund guy cannot does not doesn't have plausible deniability that you might get you might be on pills enough to suck his dick yeah so you gotta go you got to get out of here they were like so you you keep telling him like oh i know what you're doing i yeah. keep telling the guy oh i see you yeah 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 they don't like that they don't like that that's a place for them to buy six hundred dollars six hundred dollar bottles of gray goose and maybe finger an aspiring actress. Maybe, you know? maybe. But now back, you know what? Where I was at, they wasn't even doing that. Like, really? I would swear to you, the finance dudes, they are really specific in what they think is fun. Interesting. It's just like buying a whole bunch of bottles, doing a whole bunch of blow in yeah. their blazers. Right, They right, don't change. Right. They, they go don't. from yeah, yeah. the office yes. to the clerk. They'll loosen and it's a like, tie. And it's like, yo, wait, if you don't take that performance police officer <laughs> fucking burning this place okay, down. Okay, so they're just, they're not, it's more of a status thing for the other bros, you yeah. think? Interesting. Yeah, I think there's like probably one guy that's like probably getting hosed. Right. But then everybody else is like surrounding the guy who's getting hosed. Interesting. And they're, they're, I'm like, where's the fun? Right. Doesn't sound fun to me. No, no. So no. what were the what break down the different th what type of customer are we talking? We got the finance guy. We got the finance guy. We have the celebrity who's of like, course. you know, they're comped, comped yep. or they're using a card and then claiming that they were robbed. Yeah. <laughs> a classic they're, move. They're cutting off their American Express. They're like, I don't know. Someone took my, you know, those scammers. <laughs> uh, then it's the people who, are like, they really do have money. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Right. P buy whatever. Right. Um, those people I respect because they don't want too much. Right, interesting. They're, they're like, we know what we're in here for. Mm -hmm. They don't think that we're trying to, you know, do the run around. Right. There's no, no need to scam Moreau. them. You're like, to oh. them, what's the difference between five grand and 20 grand? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. nothing. They're like, oh, the men is 20? They walk in, they're like, not much is going on. It's fine. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring, bring more sparklers. It's Damn. fine. We'll make it a, we'll make it a thing. And then there's uh, the, the, the Saudis, the, of course. the prince. You can't speak to them. Wow. They come in with their people. Don't touch them. Really? Don't. Oh, they're. What's the point? What's ask the them. point of even doing that? I, maybe because I feel like in Dubai, it's illegal. Right. Like you can't. Oh, you can't drink. You can't drink. You can't you know, be drink. around hoes. I don't no, believe. No, hoes or something. So when they're coming here, they're like, oh, this is the. I think, I would think the opposite. You're ready to go crazy. I, they are, probably are, but behind closed doors. Right, They right, can't right, right, do it right. out in the open. I mean, there's cameras, surveillance yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. They, I remember uh, this was the craziest night of my life. I had like. So many tables that wanted to talk to me, and mm. I, I just was like, "Ew, please, yeah. can you stop?" Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah, the yeah. the Saudi prince guy comes in. He's got all his people or whatever. He's ordering Johnny Walker Blue. Mm -hmm. He's getting uh, Louis the Thirteenth, like yeah. crazy yeah. liquor. The the tab is absurd, right? So I'm trying to like talk him up. Yeah, They're, please don't don't, don't talk even to come him. Close. And then I was like. The fuck? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna silence a black woman. And so I'm yeah. trying to, to talk. them, just silence. Sil I don't know. That's a that's a good like the that's a great matchup is so the misogyny of a Saudi yeah. rich guy versus a black woman on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, you know, I was on drugs. Oh, I'm just kind of guessing. Okay, I was. <laughs> but I mean, don't assume. An opinionated don't black woman on drugs versus Saudi <laughs> prince. That's a fucking that's celebrity a death versus. match right that's there. A that's a great versus. That's a great versus. <laughs> so I keep, I keep trying to talk to him, his bodyguard or whatever comes. Yeah, and yeah. they're like, can you just please stop? And I was yeah. like, I don't understand. And then they pull out a wad of money. Whoa. It's like $2,000. And they're shit. like, Here's two thousand just to stop, just stop. <laughs> leave them alone. And I said, Yeah, I don't care about feminism. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm taking yeah. the money. Salute. And then all mm -hmm. the people who are trying to talk to me, I was like, Oh no, you no, you have to stop. It costs two K to get me to stop, stop talking. talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they give me an overtip and everything. Damn. So it was like wow. I guess it doesn't pay to wanna work i don't no, know no no you gotta pick your or the i think the moral of the story is be so annoying people stop pay you to stop talking <laughs> yeah yeah you know well i think he did understand that like i really did want i came in like oh let me do my job they're paying right, about to right, like right. spin a grip right. but they were like 
my my dress, my chest is out, Titties my out. arms yep. are out, all this stuff. So like for him, it, it was, was literally against. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was literally haram. It was literally against. <laughs> Your titties were haram. Yeah. <laughs> in that in that situation. <laughs> and Marge Simpson, I don't know what. He might be right, but it sounds wrong. And I don't well, want. Can we? You need can to we open your. You need to open your horizons up. I'm a learned split man. Split the screen. <laughs> Slide me over. <laughs> you said my titties were haram. <laughs> Slide me over. I beg of it. Uh, look, in most cases, they're halal. Yeah. Oh, but, okay. but, okay. but in this specific situation, well, that's know. good, dude. We should tour. We should tour saying. Dubai. I I'm don't. Stavros Halalkius. <laughs> Put me in one of those fucking white shits <laughs> with the fucking bandana or whatever I the am fuck. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> Tapped out. Can- cancel. Cancel the bond. I don't know what <laughs> Oh fuck. <laughs> I love it. That's all that is a that is a hilarious shot. How long were you doing that? Ten years, ten, ten years, years, and the um, full decade. The, yeah, a, a full, I did a whole career. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah. I had tenure in bottles. Yeah, and um, I think that's where I learned how to like, kind of like, be cool. Totally. But also, like, make money, be yeah. bad decisions. Sure. Fuck terrible people. Of make course. good friends. I will say, the best friends I've ever had were people in nightlife. Mm. Even though they don't have no sense of like what the day is, yep. or like real issues i mean I, drugs and alcohol bring people together <laughs> yeah 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 and yeah, so yeah. I've, I've had friends that like yo their mothers have died we've come strung oh, out wow. to the funeral come to wow freaking connecticut Crush the eyes oh yeah no yeah. Fuck, oh there was one funeral we went to people were definitely doing math because <laughs> <laughs> they to get had, up for the funeral cause, no because they had a, they had a run it was like mm. thursday friday Saturday, the front funerals on Sunday. Right. So they've like, oh, we haven't slept, so right, we're gonna right, do right. some Tina. You just That's with the crystal oh, and crystal. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. go to go to the mom's room, and we're Damn. bawling in the back, but that's because. We're coming down. Yeah. We're coming down. <laughs> that is true. Being uh, like like uh, withdrawals. Yeah. Are kind of the the best. There's the the Venn diagram between withdrawals and a very person grieving very hard. Yeah. Is really similar. It's the same. So if it's you like, want to seem like you really care about someone. I mean, I did care, but also, you know, I was I was not doing math sure. uh, that day. But that, was, oh, <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, day yeah. I was not uh, participating. <laughs> but it was like it was crazy that we like. I think sometimes you have to be on drugs and alcohol to p- show up anywhere. Oh my god! Because sometimes it's like, what the? F- why what are am we I here? doing? I not know. funerals, but but even that. Yeah, it's just like you. The accountability that people have when they're lit. Is just stronger than anybody mm-hmm. <laughs> on any like weekday. What do you What do you mean by that exactly? It's like in L. A. They're present in L. A. People have canceled more. Yeah, have all of the time. They will not. They don't want to agree or commit to anything. Right. They just can't be bothered. Right. And then I've had more people like on drugs in in droves show up mm. for me. In ways that I was like, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, you look a mess. But yeah, you look horrible. <laughs> you but thank you for probably being. You not shouldn't be here. here. But you should this bathe. is so sweet. Yeah. Well, maybe so that's because you had very good friend. You just had good drug addicts around you. I did have yeah. good drug <laughs> yeah. addicts. Yeah. And there were. I'm still cool with a lot of them now, and they're all like, you know, obviously not partying the same. But yeah. That's it's nice. Dope. That's yeah. a cute. To make it out of that, because mm-hmm. that's the thing. Is like that's. It's like there is a high. Uh, like uh, there, people don't make it right, or they don't. No. They don't like. Uh, they don't become like, you know, functioning sober people half the time. But the ones that I'm, do, I'm gonna be honest with you. There, I know more comedians that have died than people in nightlife. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, what are we comparing now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, yes, Wait. of course, comedians. But I just mean like anybody on drugs. I, I mean, mean, comedians like, in nightlife. We, Doing the same thing. True. Being fools. Yep, yep, yep. Getting paid for the foolishness. The nightlife people make way better money I on know, average. Oh, it's true. And it's like typically you're you're probably a hot girl, right? Most of the time. Yeah. Or, or a promoter who seems to like be like the worst guy of all time. Yes. <laughs> like <that> seems, like <laughs> yeah. if you pick like the type of dude you don't want to be, it's a nightlife promoter. Right. Well, so c- it's like, yeah, I don't know. 
the, I be the, but I feel like nightlife promoting is honest scams. Mm-hmm. It's more honest than anything else people are selling us right now. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, flat yeah. tummy tees. Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. Come to my come to my conference. Mm. You know, I'm gonna teach you how to be a boss. Yeah, like, yeah. The yeah. promoter is like, hey, I need you hot bitches. Right. Y'all don't even know how to walk. Right. Come with me. Let me teach you. I'll I'll split a rainbow roll with y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 And yeah. then we go we go to PhD. Yeah. And you live the life. And you might meet, you might meet your husband there. It's wholesome pimping. It yes, sounds like it is wholesome. Pimping. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you might meet your husband, yeah. or you might get you know yeah. roofied. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, high risk, an, high reward. It's still an experience. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You weren't going to do that staying in the house on, no. a, on a fucking Thursday night. No. <laughs> yeah. You weren't. So we got the UAE Prince guy. Mm-hmm. Who we had some. You also, I have to give you credit because the. One of my favorite things on the internet that you used to do was the like the Barb the story time with yes, Barbie, yes. which you found. I have to give you credit. You found something that was incredibly work intensive, was very entertaining, and really was not rewarded by the algorithm no, whatsoever. No, it was not. You kind of poured I'm all so, you. You I made did. something hilarious, and it was just like. Stavi, can you talk to them? Tell yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not gonna listen to my black ass. So well, you were just know. putting them in story. To be fair, you were kind of dumb. You were just putting them in stories. <laughs> And it's like those go away <laughs> after go a away. day, but I but always enjoy them. You get engagement, okay. like All people. Right. You know, you know how some people post things, and you're like, skip, skip, skip. Sure, sure, sure. I would have people. I would have like oh, I would really read them good all. retention. Yeah, they will come back. They'll be like, hey, and I'll be like, brb. They're like, mess. Hey, yeah, you coming yeah, yeah. back? It like, was I'm funny. For it was funny. You would be like, I gotta be back. They were like, I'll be <laughs> back in like an hour, and yeah. people would wait. Yes, they would I wait. would be like, oh, yeah, what the okay, fuck is going? Because some of that was pandemic too. It so well, there was nothing going on. So oh it's like, no, no. Sometimes I would be like, I'm getting in a car, right? So I have time. Right. Oh, now I met up some with someone. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, see yeah. them for a little bit, yeah, and then yeah, I gotta, yeah. and then I'll be talking. And I'm like, "Yo, I gotta find more Barbies." Yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. like, "What?" And I'm finding random Barbies <laughs> yeah. in different situations. And then, I, then I start getting real visual. The cinematography, sure, it was, was really like, good. I was like, "Are oh, they archived anywhere?" Um, yes, I put them on my page. They're okay. in the what do you call that? Yes, the highlights. Highlights, or the yeah. highlights. Put them um, on. Fuck, make a reel. Out I've of made, them, I've made a couple of reels, okay. and it's been okay. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I yeah. do say this: like the algo, you have to be consistent. Um, you have to look a certain way. Sure, sure, you sure. have to abide by yes. the Instagram, you know, unspoken rules to really thrive. But those are just also to those are just good stories in the most classic. Like, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure I'm not breaking any news to you, but like, make that a script. The Bottle Girl songs. Oh yes, yes. No, we're working like, on it. We got is, people. Okay. People right, are good, attached. Good. We're good. gonna. Yeah, it's gonna if you get need a sold. D, if you yeah. need somebody to play a DJ in a tracksuit. Oh suit. no, I <laughs> stop me. Don't you worry, honey. You. You know, I'm the guy giving you the rainbow rolls. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> come God. on, girls, look yeah. alive. <laughs> wow, you're really putting it on, and we need to cut that up so I can. Are put you having it, flashbacks? Put it in a, no, I'm gonna put it in a, in a demo. Put it in the sizzle yeah, reel. The demo for, for the show because you really did nail it. You did. <laughs> well, give us one more. Give us another good one. If a uh, story from that kind of time, or anybody, oh, anybody yeah. you like, some a okay. character you bumped into. Okay, so. Um, you know, men come in there and you're like, how do they have power? They don't yeah, know what yeah, that. Yeah. Well, as soon as they get fucked up, it's like, we can rob you. Right, so right, this, right, guy, right, right, right. this guy, he lived on the Upper East Side. He's like, yeah. very, very wealthy dude. Hell yeah. He, um, and he would come in. Coming solo? He's coming in he's by himself. Okay. By himself. So those are the perfect ones because yes. you're like, you just want a friend. Right. I mean, you could just pay for an escort, but right. you, you want you want some lights. And sure. You want sure. you don't want to go to the strip club because that's uh, you don't do that. Right. But you're just gonna go to the nightclub, I get befriend it. a girly, and then you're like, oh, we'll I'm buying this crazy Medusa size bottle of Cristal. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we're both going to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're both going to drink it together, and he came in several times, and he would get so fucked up and he would pay me a lot wow. and what's and this so, guy look like what's what are we talking about g- g- nondescript. nondescript if he's in a regular fucking lineup, i can't tell you who it is yes yes dude. but the grayish hair okay. you know he's he's gonna get really good suits he, Interesting. like he takes care of like himself. a guy in the background of a scene in succession yes not the main guy, <laughs> not, the main guy. <laughs> not the main guy but he's like eating fucking uh, sausages behind tom right. rogs boggums or whatever the fuck his name right, is but he's gotta have enough money to eat he, but he's in the room, room. he's but he's the not room. the main guy. No, he's not the main okay, guy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But um, he came in 
times and like you know hit, hit me off with money and buying bottles or and but he would get so fuck i would have to get in a car with him wow and drop him off holy at shit his place i would jeffrey get epstein's mansion yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sydney was friends with gray haired rich guy nondescript upper east side sydney was <laughs> don't put him on do not so put him no. on <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know Nondescript, you. quiet and guy. You stop with the books. He no. seemed like he was really guilty about oh something. God. He just needed to drink to forget. I didn't sign up for this shit. Okay? I'm trying to come in here with my clean Christian comedy, and you over here taking it all the way somewhere. Else. So anyway, yes. I drop him off. You drop him off. His doorman. He yeah. see me. He right. like, oh, I know what it is. Right, right, like, right. I'm gonna get him upstairs. Yeah. Him. So this one time, I think this is actually probably the last time I saw him. Mm -hmm. He comes in. He, uh, this is, I think this is like right before. I think this is during Halloween or whatever. Mm -hmm. He comes in. He spends like 20K. Damn. Just by himself. God damn. And I'm getting the girls. We're drinking. We're and this is just stuff. drinks? This Do is they just, have food here or nothing? It, there is a restaurant by but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he's just like, drinking. It's like 3 a.m. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> only, only the real folks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the real no, ones. The real. I'll take you that. Know, cool, 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 Stop cool, touching cool. me during this bit. I don't know. I don't know why you have to keep making contact the with cool me. Kids. The, cool kids. <laughs> the cool kids. Don't are touch eating. the fat statue either. <laughs> so, so he spends twenty thousand dollars. Holy shit! I'm in a. I'm. I'm in. God a, damn! That's I'm in crazy. a white rabbit. The, mm -hmm. the the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland nice. outfit. Yes, I, I'm, they painted. Oh, I think you've posted. Yes, a picture they painted of this. my face. My nose was black. I'm doing yeah. cocaine, so I keep yeah. getting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my yeah. nose is fucking rubbed off. <laughs> white and black. it's gray. Horrible move to get yeah. nose paint when you're doing uh, fucking lines all yes, night. Yes, and they were like, "Hey, the customers are saying stuff." I was like, "That means the party's bad." Yeah. That means people are sober. That right. means the vibes are off. The DJ's not spinning. Yeah. That means you guys need to do better. If yeah. they're noticing stuff like this. If they're noticing that I'm this is clearly to... doing cocaine. That's <laughs> on you. you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I love that you're talking back. Oh, you're yeah. just doing drugs. Oh, yeah. The waitress. <laughs> the lowest person on the totem no, pole. No, no. We no? make that thing go round, okay, baby. All right. I see, we I see. we actually are the puppet masters of everything. Uh, we we can string together a real it. good deal it. if we want to. This is great. Mm -hmm. I love the dynamics here. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so I'm White <laughs> Rabbit or whatever, and uh, he he's by himself, and he's about to close out, mm. and they're like, "Oh, I don't know if he can close out. He's 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 done." Yeah. He gets the bill, writes ten thousand dollars for a tip, <laughs> on top of a tip already. There's Holy already a tip fuck. included. We explain that to him. We get literally everybody from the club. Yeah. To tell to verify because you got to verify. Yeah. When there's a big tip, somebody's got to verify. Then another person got to verify. The busser got to verify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, Makes sense. The bathroom attendant. Every, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, literally yeah, the whole yeah, club yeah, is yeah, over, yeah. over yeah. looking over the check, and we're like, "Do you know that you're spending this?" He's like, "Yes, yes, yes." Mm -hmm. yeah. He's shaking his head, and we're not pushing his head to say course, yes or anything course, like that. This is not so a weekend of Bernie's. Be, we're not doing yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He literally, he's like, "I know, I know, I know." Yeah. He sound we like, ooh, bitch. Like, this is yeah. crazy on top of our, and of this course. is like Halloween week and whatever. So, like, Big we already, of course. I have a flight at 8 a.m. to go to Miami. So, I'm Hilarious. done with this. We, we, I drop him off. I yeah. come back to the club. We celebrating. We feeling good. Everybody's getting naked and everything is in cash. Yeah. So, we paying everybody out. We like, bitch, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. All this cash. I got a flight. I got to go to Miami. Yeah. So, I have the cash with me. I don't go to the bank. I have of this cash not. to go to Miami. I got this money, so I'm like, we. I'm going to really. Not, we're going to. Um, and what are you doing in Miami exactly? Uh, Just well, my friend's boyfriend, who I didn't know was a drug dealer until <laughs> <laughs> he went to jail. I had no clue. Yeah, bitch, you got yachts. And yeah, yeah, his yeah. Big ass mansion. Yeah. He's he's uh, Colombian. Yeah. No, oh, I didn't wow. know. He, I didn't know he was hilarious. This, I didn't want to assume. Of course. But um, he might have been Venezuelan, actually. I don't know. It's fine. Anyway, one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we get there, and but I have all this money, so I'm buying stuff. Mm. We go into strip club. We I'm spending this money. By this 
second or third day, my manager calls me. He's like, manager of the restaurant of, of the yeah, bar of the, of the bar, yeah. Riff Raps. He's like, so we got a problem. Oh no! I said, what the what's the problem? Hey man, I'm out in the sea. I what what's yeah, up? Yeah, 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 well, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. I'm shaking ass yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the problem? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, you know that guy. You know you're regular. You know when they say regular, mm -hmm. they trying to put it on you. Of course. When y'all this yeah, whole your guy this whole block verified the yes, check. They yes. said he said he said he he said he didn't mean to give ten thousand wow. dollars. He said he will pay for. Obviously, the twenty thousand dollars of yes. stuff he bought, but and he, whatever like you know, there's a tip included. Yes, right? he'll do that, but he, he he's needs not that ten k back. No ten k. And I said no. He yeah. said, "Well, whatever you say, when you come back, have that money ready." Wow. He said everybody in the club has to give their money back. Wow, well, that's crazy. Everybody's got to give the money back, and it's crazy because it was how like are you even going to retrieve ten thousand dollars that you gave well, to we like? We split it. We split it amongst right. each other. That's but like what 12, 14 people. Oh, my money was gone. Yeah, baby. of course. <laughs> my money was gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We went to Tootsie's. <laughs> I was getting garlic parmesan wings. I said double it, triple it, bitch. I was like, put extra platinum in. Like, yeah, yeah. Pour, pour Hennessy yeah. on top Respect. of it. it I that was money lasted three days oh i was clowning because i was like that's awesome I said, what's up we're yeah. living laughing yeah <laughs> bumping it up why do, why must i follow the rules yes 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 so we had to give the money back it was and i was like i gotta work overtime yeah because i the the busters i feel bad because it's not like yeah my money sure i'm gonna make it back then no, that's a fucking that tip. Yeah, I for sold those ass guys. after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Open that rectum wide for Jose. <laughs> Do it for Jose. Come on, he's got a family. Him and his nine kids are in a one bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for Ali. Come on. <laughs> no, no, but we we got the money. But that's how it works. That's it's like, crazy. You know you. And like I, I never came back, huh? No, bitch. Because yeah. for me. Of he course, blocked. Of course. He blocked. He, if he comes in, I'm call, making a call. Somebody waiting outside for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we yeah, know yeah. he got the money. Yes, absolutely. You know? We Damn. know he got the money. And these guys just wanted to be friends. No, like he he wasn't trying to fuck, or he was, but he was too he timid. He never asked. He never uh -huh. asked. He just like you know, if you know me sober, yeah, I'm I'm literally a really good time. But sure. when I used to party, my phone would be buzzing <laughs> literally everyone was texting where you at what you doing you at work what's up what's up i have never felt that much love <laughs> in my really entire love life. is what you would call love. that <laughs> love. Someone, wow someone's from a really so stable uh, uh family if i had to guess <laughs> if that's love. what love you're like wow yo when i tell you my birthday my birthday i would have 400 text messages <laughs> from any and everybody that's I'm awesome. talking about we yeah. Balthazar yeah. bathroom attendants. Hell every yeah. every I was a really good of time. Of course, I, I could see it. A New York staple, and so yeah, I could see this guy being like, I want to be her friend. Yeah, but um, yeah, I <clears> learned <throat> a lot working there, and then now I'm reformed. Reformed, you know? yeah. I, I am yeah. gay now. You're gay now. I'm, yeah, it's you know you you, I wonder, you have a chance to turn it around. Turn it guys. around. You turn be, it around. You could be dick free for what going on? How long now? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we have a relapse? <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> wow. I refuse, I refuse to say. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this spot. <laughs> so, y'all can't. No, we'll tip you 10K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, look, we I'm all make mistakes. Because, but you know about me, I'm gonna take that ticket, yeah. <laughs> and they're not getting it. I've been, uh, officer. I've been <laughs> robbed. <laughs> you know, you don't even have to do that. American Express. You're Real right. Tea, yeah. American Express. You call them. You tell them. Yeah. No. 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 They take it off. Fun. American fun Express. Fun little scam, guys. Whenever American Express would come in, they'd be like, "Yo, mm. we honestly don't even want to take their card." Yeah, yeah, yeah. We rather a Discover card right, over right, than right. you know because they would just take it. Oh, interesting. That's so, why some places don't take American. Yeah. Huh? Well, some finance dudes. I even I had a boyfriend who would 
Use his that business his card, move? and then he, he buy bottles, and then he would call in the next day. I'm like, I don't know where my car. I, I don't know what happened. That's We're a, at greenhouse. I don't know that's what. That's a crazy yeah. move. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that American Express customers almost always right. Yep. Yeah. Nice. We got to get some Amex's eldest. We do. We got you don't have one. <laughs> no. You should have one. I should get one. That's crazy. You're doing so well. Yeah. I've never thought about doing a minor credit card scam though, but maybe. But you just American Express is good for like the points and okay, you know. Yeah, I don't you know be shit. On the plane and stuff. I am on the plane. That is true. I'm on you the plane. You in the front of the plane fucking... or the back of the plane? Come on, I'm in the front of the plane. Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so it's just like you get these cards, you get yeah. all these perks and stuff. Mm-hmm. I know you in the, the the sky lounge and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're in the lounge. We're eating those fucking weird little meatballs they got They're before good. flights. They're okay. I can't wait. Not I want that, that for it's me. It's honestly not that good. It's not that good. Not worth not not worth not worth it. Roll. No, I don't know. It's just you're away from. There are here's what I'll give you. The bathrooms are worth it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, because you, like you can a take a shower being. and yeah, stuff. Yeah, There's yeah, like yeah, they yeah. have good, good... Yeah, it's not an airport. It doesn't feel like, like a junior high bathroom, no. which is what most airports feel like. I mean, it's always just about luxury, so... Yes. You know... It's a little... It's it's definitely a little better, but it's not like... I mean, you know... I don't know what the fuck I was expecting, because it is funny when you have no money and then you get some, you're like, this is going to be... I'm going to... Me and the Queen of England will be in the same fucking place. You know what I, I mean? Feel, um, well, and then I will like, say for myself, that's what was going on when yeah. I was making that kind of money. The thing is, is, though, I had no sense of, like, what, how much I was making. Because I, I rarely put it in the bank. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. have yeah. cash <laughs> underneath the mattress mm-hmm. in different shoe boxes. Yeah. I would have a little bit of money in the bank. So they they don't know. Right, right, Ooh, right. Ooh, child, we're going to have to bleep stuff out. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the government already the, uh, know all this yeah, stuff. <laughs> yeah. The IRS didn't have to know about every every tip. Mm-hmm. Every tip mm-hmm. from a lonely man on the I upper mean, they're east not side. telling us. They, there not you go. Us, Flip, it Flip it on it. Flip it on them. Yeah, where's what all our fucking our tax dollars, dollars yeah. going? I see the streets. They yeah. fucking. You give us universal health care, maybe the money's coming out of the fucking Louboutin box. <laughs> 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 maybe I'm putting it in a fucking uh, bank account <laughs> to get taxed. <laughs> uh, fuck yeah. Yeah. I just love the idea that you were also just in my. Just for. You really were just trying to have a good time. Always. Do you think and and because it's like it, it does it does strike me the amount of like just platonic good times you were having even as like a drug addict, which yeah. is like I wonder I don't know. Do you think part of that is like that you were gay and you didn't know it and you were like not really fucking girls, so you were like ah I, you know I'm not really trying to fuck these guys, but I don't know. Is there some well, is there no, some I element was, to that? No, I was hooking up. I okay, okay. let's get this right. I Please. was hooking up with men. Yes. Just not. Men with money or oh, wow. status. Or <laughs> what? Fucking good You were guys. fucking bums? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> then they know that I'm with them for them. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Dude. I like, because yeah. I have learned as like an older person. Sure. As a, as a, as yeah. a lady who's wise. Yeah, yeah. Like people have sex or your a date or years. whatever. Date people <laughs> in their class. It's all like socioeconomic. The people usually date people who are in yeah, true. their circle. Sure. Financially, so, uh, uh, socially, you mm-hmm. know, how they're raised. So even though I was making this money and I'm hanging out with the, those rich dudes, I didn't see it. Interesting. I didn't want it. But like. Guys who are more around the way or, you know, Damn. come from broken homes. You or, just didn't respect yourself enough, I, honestly. I wouldn't say I didn't res- Come I on. Say. Come on. Well, some of these guys. No, well, some of these guys were also, it's just like. I now, mean, I'm not saying that those rich guys all were. They're trash definitely, too. They're definitely they're trash. trash too. But you meet one that's nice and he happens to be rich. There's nothing wrong with that. They're not fun. Yeah, you're, you're probably They're not right fun. That. Yeah. And that's and that's what I think men fail to realize. They're like, if I get all these things and do all oh, this totally. stuff, this will make me cool. It will not. You're still you that not, guy. You're still yeah. at the core of it, a loser. You're a tech. You're a tech <laughs> billionaire. You're still the dork that yeah. couldn't really talk to women. Yes. Yes. And I the get guys. That. I don't know who your clientele is, mm-hmm. but I feel like they got a little something, you know. What do you mean, my? You're like you're the people who follow you. Yes. I don't know if they're millionaire billionaires. No, they're definitely but they're not. Definitely have a good. Some, we got some, we got a wide swath yeah, yeah. from Stavi's world. We yeah. got we got the whole team on here. Exactly. They have the possibility of. We're a rainbow be- coalition. <laughs> <laughs> 
rainbow <laughs> coalition of windbreakers. <laughs> this is a tracksuit. This yeah. is a tracksuit. Thank you very much. It's not a windbreaker. I'm sorry. I would be pretty cold if I went outside right now. It doesn't protect much from the what, from the elements. It's more a right. style piece. It's a style piece. It's fashion. It's fashion. You're right. Dapper Dan. You're no, but you know what? I shouldn't show you because that actually, I do actually respect that because that's... There, there is, there is something cool about that of being like, you know, I'm, I have access to all this stuff, but yeah, these people, I don't see them, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing like re truly redeemable from them. And you're just kind of like, you're at work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's why I was able to last as long as I did. Right. Why I didn't get sweeped up and someone totally. fucking saved me of because course. I was too busy, like being grounded yes, and yes, like, yes. yeah, no, I, I like I like the cool people. Right, right, right. And what you learn, especially being in this industry, the coolest people, they might, they're probably not the most successful. No. They're not like. The most successful people are sociopaths. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same way like politicians, anyone who wants to be president is a bad person. Why would is you a want? sociopath. Why would you want Who thinks they this? need to be in control of everything. Why? And you're not even really in control. You're just the face of it's really, yeah, yeah, this yeah. Uh, Supreme Court. No, I don't. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, um, I definitely feel it where I'm like, I don't want to fucking, like, the last couple of years have been so busy with shit, and I'm just like, this isn't what I did comedy for. I didn't do comedy to have a job. And it's like... It's a job. It sucks. It's become a real job. I mean, don't get me wrong. Thanks for everybody and everything. And we're we're taking time off the road next year. But Stavi's World, we love doing, actually. Because we get yeah. to just do it whenever the fuck we want. You have been doing a lot. And traveling and doing... Like, being on the road is really hard on your body. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, you haven't you haven't mastered Hollywood yet. No, no, I don't no, know if that no. is due to your I podcast, but... I don't want to do... I mean, I would like to act a little bit, but that's the other thing is like... But you're good. You're, you would go in and you would be you, and yeah. that, that's what the camera fun. loves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I want to act a little bit, but I also have just seen what, like, just getting a little taste of, like... Like, I'm not at the upper levels at all, but just, like, kind of... I've at least been able to kind of, like, peek in through the window with that mm -hmm. shit, and I'm like, ah, that life is kind of brutal. Like, I kind of just want to... Like, I just... I got a place in Baltimore. I wanted to buy a place here, but even when you're fucking doing great... You need to be like a Saudi prince to buy a place here. It's wild. It's fucking insane. But I was I, just like, I was when I was do, waitressing, I was able to get a apartment in, in Harlem, brownstone, backyard, Ooh. a basement, washer, dryer, wow. a big ass walk-in closet, small kitchen, but everything sure. else. Because they're like, you're not cooking, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. doing drugs. What do you need? Are you cooking coke? Are you no, doing your like, own not, crack? Yeah, no, exactly. Artisan homemade crack. Nineteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Wow. 19, that you'll never yeah. get that again. No, that's over. That's And I think when my um, landlord had bought the building, it was like beautiful price. Totally. That's not happening. No, me. no. Shit here is like, it's ins the amount of money is like, you're like, that can't happen. Like no one has that money. Yeah. Um, and we're realizing every day on TikTok, they don't have that money. No. They no, don't. no, 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 no. Everything No, everything is about to collapse any day now. Oh, yeah, but, every day. You know, subscribe to the Patreon, folks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, I, I will say this. You are providing a service. Sure. And you're providing entertainment that you're not getting on TV, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. this is unfiltered. Yes. And it's, it's curated in a way that, you yeah. know, of your mind. Of course. But people I like. I yeah, like hanging out with. Yeah, people I like. So I think... It's a that similar. Is worth, that is worth paying. It's for, a similar. You know? It's a lower level version of the bottle girl experience. You know what I mean? It's like it's okay. like it's, it's, um, it's like friendship. You know what I mean? It's like a type mm, of friendship. You know what I mean? Sure. Not hot girl. And people aren't trying. Well, not everybody. Most people aren't trying to fuck me. But you know that's the thing with like the, you mean your guests? No, no. I'm talking about well, yeah, people listening, people watching. That it's like it's similar to like the most successful things are people kind of selling or just like creating an atmosphere of like intimacy yeah of some kind right this is more of just like fucking around with your friends mm -hmm. than like a, a rich guy who's so lonely he just wants to be surrounded by hot girls who smile at him but you know there's something to just just be and i actually feel like through what we do especially we've been doing these live calling shows that are really fun you get to actually like 
interact with I people. Did, I did remember? that. Remember? Yeah. Right. You're, and you're, 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 you're an OG. Yeah. Stavi solves your yeah, problems. Yeah, that was fun. They were yeah. a very nice comments. Like, yes, yes. She's hot. I want to be her friend. She's <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love black women. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so you were yeah, on the very you, no, early you, version of the yes, show. Yes, but I do think that like what you're doing, right, is is sometimes cooler than like what's curated on a network oh, or whatever. Definitely. Cause, and then you do realize everybody gets to find shit that they actually like. Yes. And a lot of times people are doing stuff that they, they don't even have any real fucking say. Yeah. They, they, their name is on there, but they don't somebody it, 20 other fucking white dudes with bad hairlines yeah. already been like, no, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Did you just Not mean? You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean other? Not I think you just meant 20 white dudes sorry, with bad hairlines. Well, I have a beautiful <laughs> thick mane of hair. Right. <laughs> yes. But I've, I've learned through bottle waitressing and yes. you don't want to be too rich and you don't want to be too cool no. because it is so sad. Sucks. And that's what, that's, that? why, that's why like, I don't know if you feel this way about like trying to figure out the next phase of just being a fucking person of just like figuring out your life. I mean, I know you're going through it right now. You're in the middle of a Oh fucking, my God. You're in the middle. We haven't, you know, the break, you break, going through a breakup. Break yes, yeah. I had a breakup um, in July yeah. and then I came back here. I gave up a lot of stuff to yeah, move to, to, to LA and be in a relationship. Big, yeah. And from afar, I mean, you know, we're friends, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like, you know, we were talking every day. I was like, part of me was like, oh, nice. She's giving it a real go, you know what I mean? Like, and maybe we'll never see Sid again. <laughs> maybe Sid's and gone. And the crazy thing is I would be on shows like, yeah, New York, fuck y'all, y'all dusty. Like, <laughs> I'm going to LA, I'm about to be better than y'all. Like, I got a fucking balcony, not yeah. a balconette. Like, yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah. And then I got there and I was like, wow, none of that matters. Yeah. Because New York, you could be in the nitty gritty, not have a lot of space. It yeah. can be very chaotic, but there's a sense of like, community and a sense of self 100 percent people you feel more creative the place. Yeah. and you just it i work well under these circumstances yeah. in la you have to be really chaos strategic. i think you like a little chaos i do like chaos but you have to be really strategic there and you have to be able to use people yeah yeah you yeah. have to use them <laughs> yeah, 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 you have yeah. to be like this is my network yeah i'm calling i'm making a call what you doing yeah what you doing for me yeah. Oh, I'm not meeting up unless we... What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. we just There's be no hanging just for hanging. no reason, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? <laughs> Absolutely. There's very little hanging for fun over there. No. Everybody's got to drive 40 minutes to meet anywhere. And I get it, because it's like, bitch, if I went over there 40 minutes and one... The vibes are not good. <laughs> yeah. Somebody not sucking me off. Like, what, yeah, the what's food the is bad. What are yeah. we doing? I'm with you. Yeah. So what's it like? What's your grand return been like? Where you? Where? What's the? What, you got a balconette again? Uh, what do no, you got? Where are you? Are you still living? You used to live in a hilarious. You used to live like barely in New York. No, are right. you back? Are you back, so back there? there yeah. but, <laughs> so, it Damn. was. Oh my god. Thanks I, for coming. Would it take you two hours to get yo, here? No, it actually only thirty five minutes. There we um, go. Because you also live very far. Yeah. Out yeah, babe. I do. And we're not that far from each other. <laughs> Relax. You're, you're Relax. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. Your neighborhood versus my neighborhood, I think, you know. Mm, I pulled I think up, story, I said, uh, stop this? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I think I got the wrong neighborhood. It looks very homely in, in, in the sense where, like, where the old Nana's at. <laughs> yeah, we got some. I like hearing old Greek people yell at each other. What can I say? It makes your, me feel like home. Yeah, that's your yeah, chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, before I left, I had like a a, a sex lady dungeon den mm -hmm. where it's just like a whole bunch of euphoria lights and <laughs> yes, plants I that died that. and yes. like cool You were big painting. on the euphoria lights. Yes, a lot of paintings, but just like, you know, two bedroom, mm -hmm. two cats. I was like living it up. I felt yeah, good. Like yeah. just hot lesbian. I was giving sure. lesbians a good name you for were. themselves. And then I moved back. I'm living with my really like dear, uh, one of my best friends That's and nice. her husband and her two cats. Oh, hell yeah. And it's it feels like it's a TV show yes, because yes, every yes. day I'm like, man, I got to get my life together. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, got to yeah, get yeah, it yeah. together. It's like, and then I'm like, are they having sex? Yeah. <laughs> Am I in the way? But whoa, are they having sex? And, oh, man, she cooked that dinner last night. And I was like, 
why do I need to get my own place? Yeah. This is great. <laughs> this is fucking how you live. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I came back and I honestly I've never heard so many people be like, Sydney, New York is complete now, you're back. Yeah, like hell some, yeah. there was something missing when you were gone and yeah. like comedy is I didn't feel fun. that way. I thought it was fun. But. Oh wow. Well, bitch, <laughs> you weren't even here. You're, you're right. on space. You're, right. you're, you're right. in space you're doing right. fucking thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Shut yeah. the fuck up. No, you're right, you're right. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm thrilled you're back. Yeah, it's been um, it's been fun. Everybody's been hanging out i've been like i've been getting into it i've been Hell doing yeah. anything dumb. making some errors oh if it's dumb <laughs> capital d i'm into it i Let's love do it. it yeah i'm like you know i i feel like damn i'm i'm gonna be 40 not not next year damn. or the year after that yeah i don't know when i'm gonna be soon, 40 but no, real once, soon eventually folks. and yeah. i'm like Yo, why does everything have to be perfect? Why does everything, why do you feel like you have to have your life together? What is your life together? And I've met so many people whose lives are together and it's like, but you're not happy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. what are we doing? Yeah. You know, so I'm just, I'm really just trying to live life and we'll mm -hmm. figure it out. And hell I'm yes. putting less restrictions on myself, which oh, makes yeah. means. Now we're talking. Yeah. A couple relapses. But no, of not, of not the drug I, kind. No, not. Oh, of the <laughs> you're not pulling me back into that. But I will. I will say this. I'll say this on on cam. Please do. You know, it's for me. It's for some reason. It's just hard for me to meet women. Mm -hmm. They will not talk to me. If they do, they want to be my friend, or maybe they are attracted to me. But there's something about my energy that they're like. I don't know if they're intimidated. Maybe they're intimidated because yeah. I am funny and yeah, like, yeah. cute. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I talk yeah. shit on stage. Of course. But if you know, like, on stage, once you, off stage. Off, but once <laughs> yeah, you see yeah. me, like, once you look at me directly, and like, you're like, oh, she's a sweet girl. She's, totally. She used to be ugly. So, totally. like, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. good at inside. So, I used to be know? ugly. We haven't even gotten into the fact you were a child who set your house on fire. I did <laughs> set my house on fire when I was 11. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, you know, I Comes have, from some chaos. So yes, yeah, for sure. I, if you if you really get down to it, you're like, oh, no, she's mad cool. Definitely. But no. maybe some people are like, She's too. She's too good for me. I can't do Ooh, it. Oh, that's interesting. And that's why men love me. Yeah, and the yeah, men, they're yeah. like, they should not be with oh, me. Oh, of course. So that's why they keep. They keep nothing better than a girl that's so much better than you. Oh, they just won't stop. I love dragging them down to my level. They won't stop. <laughs> Come they won't, on down, they girls. They won't leave me alone. <laughs> and so now I'm like, I'm definitely, I'm not bisexual, but yeah. I'm like. I will entertain. Yeah, damn, y'all foolish. You men. hear that, girls? I'll go you're, on a date. You're, you're, I'll. This is how. This is how much you're fucking up. <laughs> this city is even considering fucking guys again. <laughs> Come on, let's get some hot lesbians in here. Yeah, let's get my friend Sid shacked up. It's a, and I like. I've been in two back to back serious <laughs> relationships, right? Mm -hmm. And they were amazing, like really yeah. amazing women. I, I I would not take back anything. But I'm also like, damn, I keep getting in relationships, so I'm not really dating, and mm. that, I don't know how to date. It I'm does bad feel at like it. lesbian dating is, it's I, every lesbian I know is like, oh yeah, I went on one date and really liked her, and we were married for eight years. Like that's every single like every close every lesbian in my life has has that story at least. Three times in her life. It's She's crazy. ended up in like a crazy, whereas like, I mean, gay guys, it's the hilarious polar opposite. <laughs> where it's like, oh, right hello, there, nice right to meet you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just sucking each other again, off and then, and then they shake hands and they're like, well, see you at tennis next week. <laughs> Split the screen. Split the screen. Oh, like I'm off on this one. This one, take the screen up, Elder. She knows no, it's true. No, no, you have, it would only make sense if you were a gay man saying that. Come you on, as a I'm a man with eyes, with, with gay suit. friends. <laughs> straight man in a tracksuit saying, spewing this hatred. I'm not spewing <laughs> anything. Cannot be involved. It is against my I'm, brand. I'm making, I will not. I'm making cogent you, observations of the, about the human condition you're not wrapping me in your By bigotry the way. you're a, you're a di adidas bigotry i'm not doing it it's a puma uh, puma adidas it, they all are like hate gays and blacks I'm not By doing the that. way i'm a big fan those i'm saying you guys got something to learn from gay guys you don't need to go that wild 
you know, there don't need to be any push eating glory holes. But you can, yeah. you can, you can do a little more hooking up. Is I don't all I'm know. saying. I don't hooking up is so intimate. It's yeah. so intimate, and it's like, especially if you're a lesbian, because it's like I really do feel like it's about connection yeah, and yeah, like yeah. energy and it, it, some of the hottest girls. You're like, I don't know how we're gonna do this because you're mm. just we're too f- looking on the outside, and we want to look good. And yeah, sure. It's so easy to get banged out by a dude because you're yes. like, the light ain't going to be bad. The <laughs> yeah, sheets yeah. are going to be dirty. They, what do they care? They don't mind. Like, they didn't put lotion on for yeah, four yeah. days. But like, <laughs> girls, you like, you want to make things right. You want to caress. You want to make sure, sure they feel good. You're like, did you eat? Like, what right, can I do right, for you? Right, like, right, right. You just want to have things in order. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you also want to like, I think you can, I think there's people who could hook up with men and not like be obsessed. But a woman, I don't know. I'm going to have to really have strong feelings to just, like, make out. I can't just make out with really? any just, girl. You see a hot girl, you're not like, oh, I could just fuck her no. one time and never see her again. No, because my girls, my girl, my friends mm-hmm. are good looking. So it's not like I'm not used to attractive women. Sure. So that's nothing for me. So it's yeah. like, okay, what's next? And then on top of that, my best is Marie, hottest, sure. funniest coolest girl yeah, Marie's the best it's, it's, so it's like i'm not try, i don't want to be with her so it's like some hot bitch comes in and you ain't got no jokes yeah i'm not really in i'm not but yeah but she's bringing something else to the table what do you want her, the fucking them that she also wants to fuck you you know what i mean no i don't i just i feel maybe it's because i'm older or i've been in some of these relationships where it's just like well what was is not all that it's so good it's yeah. so good but it's like it's just the glaze. So then it's what the are gla- you looking for then? It sounds like, because what you're talking about is you're literally queuing yourself up for <laughs> another <literally>. relationship. <laughs> like you just said you want a date. I know. it's so. That's why I say my mind, I don't know how to turn it yeah. to the like, yo, just have a good time. Just go on a date. Just chill. And then, you know, these... You go online and these fucking idiots are tell- projecting their bad dates and their sure, stupid sure, sure. information on everybody. And so that's the that's the go to. Like, yeah. oh, we can't do this. We can't do that. Oh, you you giving it up? Oh, you whore. Like, yeah, 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 I'm a whore. We're a pro whore podcast pro here. Whore. Let's get the body Dude. count up. Yeah. Don't even talk to me if it's not 15 and above. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even, yeah. don't even make, don't hit my DMs. Go suck a couple people off and let's get to 15. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I feel like, don't be a hoe with men, but like, maybe a hoe with women? Well, not, maybe not all men. Because you but know, there's just so many venereal diseases coming well, out of, seeping look. out of that urethra, <laughs> y'all. Listen, that, be a hoe with women too. That's yeah. awesome too. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I just, I, I you know what? I, it's, I want to, I want nice, I want like cool dates. Yeah. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would like a good time because I know what I'm bringing to that you're gonna have sure I'm gonna have good stories you are I'm a great time trauma dump mm-hmm. I'm gonna look good and there is plenty of trauma folks and she oh, does yeah. not do it <laughs> just listen to a pod if you wanna hear it you ain't gotta hear it from across the table you're gonna be in a car and it's gonna be a car ride yeah. for three hours and you're gonna yeah. get it you're gonna get it good yes it's absolutely gonna be raw. <laughs> we co- yeah come back we'll have so much more we yeah. gotta get you and Marie together on here for oh, sure oh uh, we but, yeah. first of all we'll take over <laughs> yeah, remember yeah. when you did our pod so it was fun. so good so it was fun. like it was just like it, I think the you were the body positivity expert, I and was. this was before Lizzo, back in the and day. Adele. It was before, before you were the very that. first I was. positivity I was. for the body bitches. I really, I was naked before my career was Yo, going you well. Really, I was just a fat guy nude the on way. the internet. You walk so Lizzo can and shame other fat bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you did yeah. that. That's what you did. You're doing great work, Stop. Thank you, thank you. That was a great pod. That was so long ago, and it was so long ago. And that. Because I was with you guys, I was not a storyteller at all Mm-mm. on like my in my act at all, and I had just had a very fucking weird threesome. And because I told it on the podcast, I was like, "Let me try this on stage," and that became the bit that I did to end my special. It was so yeah, good. That was and so, so fun. I would say, yeah. of course, two black women giving the alley oop. Ali, it was not Ali. no one better. <laughs> no one, no better. one better. You guys it was are the so best. Good. We yeah, were yeah. asking really good questions, yes, and you yes. were giving it to. And it was so, no, I was you're like, the best. Damn. I was like, stop. It's good. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. At first, when you were talking about sex, I was like, how? And then yeah. when you started talking, and after the interview, I said. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I get Thank it. you. Thank you for that resigned <laughs> acceptance that I get that I get pussy. Uh, <laughs> well, something about 
about the, the food choice that you were getting before the threesome. I oh, think you yeah, had like Chinese. egg rolls. Yeah, I was fucked up. All, I was, it was bad. I was it was like, bad. An egg roll before a threesome? Up. I was spiraling. You were not, I was not spiraling. asking to have a good time. No, no. I didn't think I was... I mean, this has all, you, this oh, all yeah. been covered. I didn't That's think right. I was going to fuck them. Yeah. I thought it was like a weird bring your friend... Because it's the internet. I'm just some guy. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I just thought they were bringing a friend... To make sure I'm not a lunatic. The one thing. time you were not delusional yeah. as a man, <laughs> I, 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 was also I salute you. <laughs> I was also Guys, very depressed. Him. Yeah. If you don't think you're gonna get fucked, you're gonna get fucked. It's true. It's a weird. It's a weird. Uh, that is actually that's happened to me plenty of times. Yeah. I think you're kind of aloof too. I can be about yeah. it, like because you're just like. Yeah, no, man. definitely now I don't even give a fuck. There have been times where I'm like, oh, I guess we can have sex. See? <laughs> yeah, See? Yeah, yeah, but, you yeah, get, yeah. but now you understand me as a lesbian. Oh, it's like, interesting. It's like, you've done, I've done it. I've, did, yeah. I've done it, especially as a Well, waitress, there's an element I've, of depression to it, too, though. Yeah. There's that a big will element layer, of depression. That will lay it on like, thick. You know, Sydney, I think people would respect you more if you knew another language. Yeah, you should <laughs> download Babbel. <laughs> Did you know that one in five Americans Listen to this Sid What do you call a person who speaks three languages Trilingual Someone who speaks two Bilingual Someone who speaks one American That's right Only 22% of Americans speak a language Other than English at home Start learning a new language this fall And be the exception Not the rule You know me and Eldis we're, all, we're already bilingual But we're trying to be trilingual with Babbel Because with Babbel you start speaking a new language In just three weeks Instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a private tutor or fooling yourself with language apps that are little more than games, Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking new language in as little as three weeks. It's fast, baby. It's beautiful. With over 10 million subscriptions sold, Babbel is real language learning for real conversations. I do love Babbel. It sends me a little reminder. I got my, I got my, I start my day learning. I'm back on Spanish. What can I say? You know what I mean? People have that on their bucket list. They want People want to learn a new language for multiple reasons. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm looking for a Latina, a Latina mommy in my life. So I'm trying, to get my, I'm trying to get my Spanish in there. I'm still very basic. Okay, I've had to repeat certain things. Uh, you know, I have a, I'm very sleep. But even for my sleep-deprived, drug-addled mind, these lessons flow right by. They remind you in the morning. I love that. I start my day with it. It's easy to pick up. You know, I've thrown a little Spanish in there. It, has it gone over great? You know, I've gotten a smile when I said tenada one time. <laughs> Lady smiled at me because I said it, you know. She said, thank you for a tip. I just, I just like, no problem. No problem. That's how the fuck we get down around here. Uh, I'm, I got to get my confidence up. I got to keep the lessons going. But I love it. It's so nice. And here's what I really like. You don't want to be one of those assholes that just reads the, or you just read it. You don't know how to speak it. You literally, the micro, you repeat, one of the parts of the lessons that I love the most is you repeat what you just said and they, they critique your pronunciation. Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent because I, I, I drift a little too Greek with it sometimes. I think just because I speak a different language all of it. And I do think Spanish, Spanish with a Greek American accent is better than just an American accent. But still, I want to be kept honest. And that's why, you know, I just have, I have the, I say, you know, even if it's a, if, you know, thank you, gracias, you know, do I overdo it sometimes? Sure. But I love that element of it. It's the best. And here, there's a special offer for our listeners here at Stavi's World. They have a deal right now. You get 55% off your Babbel subscription. Only for our listeners at Babbel.com slash Stavi. Get 55% off at Babbel.com slash Stavi. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash S-T-A-V-V-Y. Rules and restrictions may apply. But do it now. It's easy. It's the best. Thank you to our friends at Babbel. What do you think about that, Sydney? You ready to go? Oh, and if you think, you think you're going to download Babbel, 
just continue the conversations if I hadn't said anything. Where What's you're even like, the point? damn, I'm dry. Yeah. Like, you can't even cry on it. It's still dry. <laughs> 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 Fucking Zoloft, bitch. Get all, I was like, I would rather just be sad. Yeah, yeah, so I yeah, can yeah, come yeah, and feel horny. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> no, I get it. Well, yeah, you're going to have to come back. We, have, we haven't even gotten into all the trauma dumping you don't um, do on dates. Oh, my God. There's so much to get into. It's but so much. I, now we should. Let's get. Let's uh, let's do some some calls. Let's. Woo! Let's solve some problems. This here. is where I shine. You will, yes, you do for sure. Hey, Stav. Hey, Elvis. No, big fan of the show. Um, Count here. <laughs> I basically hear the Elvis. Big fan of the show. Hey, Stav. Hey, Elvis. Big fan of the show. Um, Thank you. I basically here's the issue. So mm -hmm. I quit getting drunk and using drugs in like the middle of 2019, and oh, um, basically it was just like ruining my fucking life. Mm -hmm. So I had to quit. And I'm not like a card carrying alcohol as anonymous person or anything. Like I still have a glass of wine on a special occasion or drink a beer like once a month or something. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> and all my friends are like really supportive. I'm not friends with any real party boys or party girls. And um, my handsome Greek boyfriend is really supportive as well. Good he doesn't really get drunk and we don't keep alcohol in the house. Mm -hmm. The main issue is my family. Um, everyone in my family loves to get wasted. That's crazy. Just like all the time. <laughs> and for whatever reason, they're always trying to get me to have a drink when I hang out with them. And they take it really personally if we go out to lunch or dinner. And um, I just order like a Diet Coke. That's fucking oh, insane. And normally I don't have to be around them that much. But recently I was visiting with them for like five days. Oh, yeah. And it just like it ruined the whole fucking vibe that That's crazy. everyone was so mad that I wasn't drinking. And they were like making fun they of they me gotta and be mocking from me for not <laughs> they drinking. They gotta be from the South. And we're the Midwest. I just Those don't Midwest know big what to do about it. Like since these people are immature, should I just like try to limit how much I see them in general? Mm -hmm. Or should I try and set a boundary with these freaks? Um, <laughs> let me know. Thanks, guys. Damn. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, that's crazy. That is literally crazy. Your family is behaving like like frat boys. Like this is behavior that you do. Like this is how I acted when I was nineteen, and a friend was like, "No, I'm not drinking." That I'm like, "Pussy, <laughs> fuck you, dude." And we try and like you know waterboard him with fucking pop off <laughs> vodka. That's fucking crazy for your family to be like, "Why aren't you drinking?" Actually, it's not crazy because really? it, I sometimes I feel like. Your biggest haters Absolutely. That or is bullies true. is family. Yeah. And they put it under the guise of like, we're family. So they think like what they're doing is cute yeah. and funny and like, you know, we just fucking around. And it's like, nah, I'm really taking this serious. And yeah. you're affecting me and you're fucked up and you probably have problems and you're projecting. Oh, and you're question. like, it's it's a layered things. And because we put so much on the title of family. We give them this leeway. We like put up with it. It's toxic and yeah. it's different because it's like it, you're supposed to feel safe and you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, one, how much money they got? Mm. How much money your mother, your family? Because right. I feel if this is a broke ass family, you'd be like. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> if they got money. If they got money they and dad money. is drinking a Macallan 25. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, yeah, get yeah. them, you fucking dumb bitch. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you won't get the trust fund and all right, this other stuff. Right, You're like, right. I think I got to keep yeah. coming. If there's, a, if there's a down payment in, in it for you, maybe you know, a Negroni every once in yeah. a while ain't the worst thing in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that's true. I didn't think of that, but... The I, it feels more like broke behavior to me, but <laughs> it's possible that they have money and they're just judgy, you know, cunts. Yeah. Um, I would say though, I mean, you're absolutely correct about the like. Sometimes your biggest haters are like, you know, like the, what's the saying? Like a prophet has to leave where he's from or whatever the village he's from. It's like because no one, no oh, you're one reading. Huh? No, I'm not. You got reading. that on TikTok? I heard it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading a little bit, mm -hmm. but not, you know, that didn't come from a book. Um, it's it's basically like yeah, I think you have to what I always say with with shit like this is like these people probably aren't going to react positively mm -hmm. to a boundary. No. But you I think you owe it kind of to yourself to give them the opportunity to like 
uh, clearly step over the boundary. So you, because that way they can't even be like, well, you never told us this. You mm-hmm. you have to kind of lay it out for them. Like, hey, th- uh, drinking too much was ruining my life. Yeah, I really don't want to drink every day. I'm 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 sober, and unless it's like a wedding toast or something, I'm not drinking. And and plea it really, uh, you know, I feel like all this peer pressure is really negatively affecting me, and it could lead to really bad things for me. And if they don't accept that, then I do think if they, once they go over that boundary, I think what you do is just, yeah, limit the time you see them. You know, you're in and out. You're, you're, you're in, um, you know, you're, you go to holidays, whatever. Definitely don't spend five. I mean, five days. I like my family and I don't want to spend days. five days with them. That's fucking crazy. Five days at the house. You're not on a trip. Yes. You're five days. At the house. At the house. Come on. No you're pool. You're asking for it. Yeah. You're asking for the trouble. That's, that's too much time if you mm-hmm. don't have a great relationship with your family. And so, yeah, try and set the boundary. They will probably trample it. At least you've given them the opportunity not to fail you. Yeah. And then when they do, just, you know, yeah, I think you're right. Unfortunately, you got to, especially... As Sydney said, is this if this is a broke family, get the hell out of there. <laughs> and I, I will say, I have there's been different times in my, I have a I have a pretty good relationship with all, pretty much everyone in my family, and then even people that I don't, I feel like maybe we're kind of rebuilding it here, whatever. But there were times where I wasn't around my family, where they were like, you know, I was working through my own shit. They needed to work through their own shit. I've gone to therapy. Most of my family has gone to therapy. And it's there's times where I didn't see my you know my mom or dad for a, a really long time. I didn't see my brothers. And I think all this shit also kind of shifts and changes. This might just be temporary, right? Like, they might need you to fucking go away so they can do some reflection of, like, wait, what the fuck did we do that drove her away from us? And it's like, it might not happen. It might not happen. They know what they did. Yeah, they probably do, do know. But I think, like, all this stuff, it's not final. It's not set in stone. But for now... You as a person, and then who knows, maybe she can, in the future, if she feels like she has better control over her drinking, this kind of peer pressure won't even affect her as much, right? This is true, That's and I will say that as, like, somebody who's going on six years, like, I don't really, I I know what it does, I know what it can do, I have fun with the people while they're getting fucked up, and I, I just see, like, damn, they are gonna be have a terrible day tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. and I don't have to do with right. that, you know, right. and sometimes I wake up feeling hungover just with the weight of the world. So totally. like I just no sleep. No sleep. You'll you'll, you'll eventually you realize like too. you can be around people who are drinking or whatever. But I think the biggest thing for this is that like I forgot who said this. I ain't afraid to cut a bitch off. Whatever mm-hmm. lyric that is, <laughs> you gotta let people know. Wow, I'll, you've been reading you will too. Be <laughs> <laughs> you will be shocked, and that's the thing. When you meet people <clears throat> who are very like, oh, I, I don't have to deal with this. You respect them more, and yeah. you respect their boundaries for sure. But if you think you could get over on somebody, you're like, I'm not listening to them. Mm-hmm. I don't care. So, I think moving forward with sobriety, you gotta let people know, and I think they do that. In AA or whatever, like yeah. you, you, you're like I will cut ties because this is about me. Right, right. Don't right. make it about. Don't say they drink too much or there. Don't say like it's like you right. guys are alcoholics. Right. Like right. for me, I can't be around this because this affects yeah. me. And yeah. just put it on you, and then be like, and if this ain't for y'all, then I'll see you when I see you. Right. We right, ain't right. got. We don't have to be around each other like that. Totally, totally. And I think that is, and it's it's tough because family pushes all your buttons, has all the guilt shit, mm-hmm. all that stuff. But yeah. I think at least if they go over that boundary, at least until you feel comfortable being around that kind of drinking, you kind of have to, you kind of have to like go your separate ways. They got to stop with the, the family's got to stop. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what they're going through, but they have to get a, get a grip. I agree with you. I'll just play another one for us, pal. Yo, stop eldest and guest. Um, I'm calling, I just called a minute ago, but I'm trying to, kind of edit my my talking points so it just sounds Thanks, more clear. Man. In the future, um, don't let us know that. Uh, so I bought this gift for my uh, now ex-girlfriend. She broke up with me. Um, and it is a, a leash and a collar. Um, I know how you feel about my kind of people, but... Uh, that's fine with me. I think you're hilarious. He's but, like, I know um, you're judging me, bitch. <laughs> he knew what I was going to do for her, said that. Specifically for her, and it doesn't have her name on it or anything, but... So how is it specifically for her? 
because she broke up with me, I feel like it has no owner now, and oh, I no. could give it to oh, my next partner. Cute. But it also holds like a little bit of a reminder of her <laughs> in it, and so I'm just trying to figure out like. <laughs> Should I try to like resell it or like something? I don't know. It was never used. Um, yeah, for sale. One collar and leash, yeah. never used. Yeah, we're gonna do it on Depop. Depop. I think, uh, Depop. I think you'll enjoy calling me a fucking freak or whatever. But uh, hey, come oh on, God. man. Yeah. We're yeah. open here. Yeah, it's like you know what you're you're talking about. Like, I know what it is. We're not gonna drag. Come you. Come on, dude. I am I, gonna drag you for this. Is giving also broke energy. Yeah. If just. Buy another one Buy another for your one for next, the next girl. Yeah. Or give it to somebody else and they don't have to know. Absolutely. Well, I get this though, right? This is it's funny that it's a leash and a collar, but we've all been here, you know, like you break up with somebody, it's like, oh, that was their pillow. I can't bring I have to that pillow's gotta go in storage for a year because I'm sad or whatever. You know what I mean? Like Yo, what's the pillow? <laughs> but I just mean like <laughs> that you just like or whatever it is. There's just like some there's a reminder of the person. Yeah. You know, and even though she never used it, yeah, first of all, just the the answer is if this is still emotional for you, give it away. It's just really funny to be give like, Give it to I a just, friend. Yeah, I just oh sorry guys. I'm a little emotional. I just saw the uh the cage my wife ex wife used to put my penis in when I was misbehaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I just caught a whiff of the gimp mask I wore the first night she pegged me and I'm going to need a second here, guys. <laughs> well, you know what it is for me, right, as a lesbian? Yes. Um, When you break up. Oh, wow. The dick. The dick's got to go. The dick's got to go. Wow. You don't use the dick on. You, they're <laughs> constantly course. buying new dicks because that's, that's nasty. Totally. And But, uh, you know, men don't have to worry. They use the same nasty same, ass dirty same dick. Same little ass dick. Say, yeah, top, top, we'll, we'll run a little dove soap it, on it. it and people, <laughs> but like you, you go to the store. I mean, those backpack lesbians, they're yeah. putting yeah. out money, <laughs> money. My ex bought a, a dick. It was about $500. Wow. It took, it took two months to get. But here's the thing. Now I don't want to hear. I, I don't want to hear like, a sob story. I, no, 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 no. Because no, I have I, my talking points on this issue as well. But go ahead and finish. I was like, "Yo, I feel like you should be able to use that on somebody. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Yeah. You should be able to do like a new, like a new, like uh, a new color. Like put a put put like a painted with some non toxic. Oh, paint. there should so be dick looks, covers. Dick covers. Strap on like covers. Like Fortnite skins. Yeah. You, should, <laughs> you should be able to have. You should have That's dildo a skins. That's genius idea. Shark Tank. Shark Tank. Do you hear a Shark Tank? Come on, Mark. That's so good. Um, I love that. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Um, but here's the thing. Listen, it, pay, it costs a lot of money. Here's the nice thing: never have to worry about it getting hard. You get to buy a huge penis if you want. Me, on the other hand, sure, I don't have to spend a new five hundred bucks every time I fuck a new girl. But I got to deal with the penis nature gave me, yeah. and it ain't the best. You're right. So it's there's trade offs. You know? I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you for reaching sorry. across the aisle. <laughs> Just to touch you to let you know. I understand. I start I break down, yeah. I start fucking crying. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> uh yeah, you're right. The the strap on should like disappear like uh like a like Star Wars when Obi Wan Kenobi is struck down. No like a force ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Once you break up, it just disintegrates no. into the wind. <laughs> <laughs> or with these covers, you know the how like, when you're idea. on the toilet, you know how the toilet seat, uh -huh. when they have that new plastic, sure. when the new butt sits down, yes. that's what they need. You need that, the absolutely. The, the I think dildos. so. I think, I think so. Smart. And then listen, you're also gaining... It's not much, maybe a millimeter of extra girth, but over yeah. time, you fuck enough women. That's how another way to make There's your dick bigger. Layer. It's like, a, and then when you're done, when you're retired from getting pussy, you cut it like a tree, and you count the rings every time you got pussy. <laughs> this is a great idea. You're sick. <laughs> I, I hope you use that someday. That's good. You make you listen. The content is here, babe, and I'll take it with you. I asked you to do this somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. So there you go. Look, pal, if it it's really comes down to you. If it's, there's no problem in using it on somebody else, but it sounds like you want to give this away. Give this to one of your freaky friends. And, it's uh, just a leash and a collar, though. Like, it's not even, I don't 
no, it's not. It's <laughs> it not like it's not like a cock ring. He picked or, it out just for her though, or a, you know, a, might be your favorite color. Like the thing that you like. What's that? The stuff that an anal thing, anal anal, uh, anal plug, butt plug, butt plug, or something mm-hmm. like. It's. I feel like it's a the fact that you're like there's no name on it. It's, he picked it out for her though, you know. It's a gift for her. Oh, she might have really. Don't be thinking about gifts too much. Well, yeah. I mean, this. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, look. I just. I get it. I know what he's talking about. Um, he's just raw from the breakup. Is really what it yeah, comes down to. Yeah, that's what to. it's about. And it reminds him of her. And the last thing he wants to do is he's you know he's putting on his saw uh, voice. And being like, you like that, you fucking bitch, while he's fucking some girl in all leather. And then he catches a glimpse of, of the fucking pink collar, furry collar, and it reminds him of his ex, and he, you know, starts crying. <laughs> you know, no one wants a dom. No one wants a dom going soft because he's remembering his ex-girlfriend. Yeah. That's kind yeah. of what I'm saying. You're right. You know? Okay. So I say, Valid. give it away. Give it Buying away. you one. Don't be a broke bitch. Away. Think of Burn it. Burn it. Burn whatever, whatever, you, whatever you need to do. And just think of it as like that's part of the cost of doing business of a breakup. Don't give it to a friend because then you'll they'll randomly like you're like you using it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, can that's I, true. Can I be there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't want you want to keep that. You don't want to you you don't want to think of it in a sexual context mm-hmm, at all. Mm-hmm. And there's no real like goodwill for uh, sex toys. There you don't no want goodwill. that. There's no. Goodwill you do for not sex want a shot. There's certain things you don't right. want secondhand. <laughs> We don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> or second ass, for that matter. <laughs> All right, Eldis. Hi. So I was raised very Christian and sexually repressed, like think um, Brian De Palma's Carrie. Oh, nice. And so uh, growing up, I had that definitely had an effect on my ability to have relationships and a sex life. I've mostly stuck with relationships with women because mm. men are too demanding. But I am now 26 years old, and I really <laughs> want to get dick down. Oh, she wants to get But I don't down. want a relationship. So well, what I want advice on is how do I approach a man who Easy. is trustworthy and understanding that it might take me time, oh, you miss but that. I basically just want to mm. fuck him, and mm. I don't oh, need anything else. I feel like men might be awesome. open to that, but at the same time, the trust factor is really important for me because no it's trust, always baby. been hard for me to like let There's down. No barriers and relax with somebody and um be myself especially sexually Hmm. um thank you very much for any advice interesting so she's basically wants a friend with benefits essentially yeah yeah um yeah i don't know what's your advice for somebody searching for something like that sydney with a man specifically you can't figure it out with a lesbian We've, we've already covered that but what about what about <laughs> if you want that with a man? You just have to not want men. Mm. They will come. Yeah. <laughs> they will come when you don't want them. And um, this is kind. Of, this girl's kind of like the bizarro version of you. Yes. <laughs> <Where it's> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I think, to be honest, mm-hmm. if Please. you are, if you are honest with him, it could be done. Absolutely. Because I think it's actually better to be a straight shooter. When it's about the dick. Sure. Because then they're going to do you like you want to get done. The problem is, is that you have to remember you wanted this. Right. So when they start acting like they acting, like, oh, this is just dick. You can't be getting all the love. Oh, but what you do, but, but, the, right. oh, that's, what about the feelings? And da, da, da. No, 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 no. Well, it, it cuts both ways, though, to be fair. Because I think plenty, th- this is a very hard thing to pull off. Because mm-hmm. it might be her... But it also might be the guy catching feelings, right? Like very rare. Like if she if she's hot and she lets him fuck whenever, and it's like yeah, he can think. He's like yeah, this is awesome. And I'm I am literally speaking from experience here. Where plenty of you know I've like had casual, like you know basically friends with benefits. Where mm-hmm. it's like and most of the time, great. We know what it is. I don't give a fuck. But then like every once in a while, you're like whoa, I actually you break you know. It stops. You're like, wait, I liked her. You? You know, it's happened to me. Really? A couple times. Hmm. Well, I mean, one time that I can really think of that kind of fucked me up. There's feelings <clears> in that <clears> body. <laughs> feelings. <Deep. laughs> Very <Feelings>. deep. <laughs> He's got a feeling. It can happen. Is all I'm saying. Okay. It's, but I also, it is nice. I, I agree with you. Where it's just like, yeah, if, if a hot girl was like, hey, would you be interested in hanging out and every once in a while and fucking like once, you know, a couple times a month. And I'd be like, yes, that would be awesome. 
You know, it's that it really is that simple. It is. Which is kind of it's kind of sad that it is it's that easy. But yeah, it, is. it, it really, really is. is that it's easy. On, it, you could be so honest. There is less games if you don't have no emotions involved. But when you are like once like a relationship, now that's when we really got to put the, the cards on the table and we yeah. got to shift shit around and mm-hmm. you got to really figure out how you're going to. Trap this guy, but <laughs> <laughs> if it's just sex, yeah, there, yeah. it's gonna be so simple. And and she says, but I don't want a relationship, and I wonder what that's about. Maybe you'll figure it out. Maybe for right she now, she doesn't want a relationship because she just wants the dick, but she wants right. to be with women. Um, but she's been with women because that's the other thing. There's a couple of things here that's a little strange. Like, yeah, well, she's w- men are too demanding. She's 26. It's an interesting thing. It's an interesting like th- thesis. I don't know that that's like you 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 your response to that was like women are also demanding. Women are also demanding. Like it sounds like yeah. maybe she's having like cute little early twenties friends who yeah. go down on each other kind of relationships. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't you don't know what you really want until it's like you, there's nothing but lights everywhere and you're <laughs> seeing it like yeah, raw. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I, I remember when I used to like make out with girls at the club. I'm like, "Mm, the lights, like, it's so dark. It feels so, like, but I knew that I really liked women when, like, the blinds are open, the fucking sun is hitting your, I'm like. No ambiance to carry over. No ambiance, yeah. It's all you generating that. I'm looking at the, down the barrel of a coochie. (laughs) And it is kind of damn. Not, it's not glistening. You're like, oh, this this is what I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, That's when I knew, I was like. In the, the all like, laid bare, yeah, before you, <laughs> yes, and my heart is like <laughs> <laughs> fluttering. I feel it you looking know? into a pussy like it's a kaleidoscope, <laughs> one, yes. one eye closed, <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> having heart palpitations. Oh my um, god, so I look, yeah, she's 26, you're right, she's figuring her shit out basically. Mm-hmm. But if this is what you're looking for. It's a pretty easy thing. It is. Like, literally, and if you want to feel safe or whatever, um, maybe just pick a friend, like, you know, pick a friend or something don't, or somebody you feel comfortable with. You don't think pick a, pick a complete stranger? Cause go on it, a dating site? If you go with a, if you do a friend, mm-hmm. you're going to get feelings for friend. your friend. That's a good point. You're going to get feelings for your friend. No, you already know point. them. That's you're going to get mad comfortable. At, you ever, like... Been with somebody after they nut and you like order some food and mm-hmm. you watch a movie. Sure. You're like, oh, one of the best, shit, you're one of the best times there are. The one, and it's like <laughs> yeah, you're not yeah, yeah. the one. You're just oh, mad comfy. Nothing feels better. Empty yeah. nuts, wings on the way. Oh, wings on the way. This little pint of Ben and Jerry's. Wings on the way. Extra blue cheese, yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Fry them hard. Me. Yeah, it's all on oh, me. Damn, Stoppy, how yeah. dare you? That I know it is good. great. It's the best. Yeah. So I get that. I mean. But my my only my point about the friend here though is I just also want to caution our friend here. These never really end well. No. This is a this is a thing that has a definite shelf life. Someone will catch Good feelings feeling. or both of you will just kind of fade now, away, yeah, right? Yeah, so that's why you get on an app. You do the app thing. Mm-hmm. You do the beep bop bop. You do it like three times and then you you're like, "All right, I think I did what I need. You I hope yeah. you get everything that you need." In three rounds. Yeah. <laughs> now you could get the three rounds in one night, or you could s- the space out the rounds. Sure. But three rounds. Three in one night. What are we talking about? Let's not get crazy. <laughs> huh? Let's not set. Let's not set unrealistic standards here. You know. You can't do rounds. Three is you know the third one's real. It's like uh, the little engine that could by the third <laughs> round. <laughs> it's like we'll yeah. we'll get there, but it'll be like I'll be huffing and puffing the whole way. Well, I thought you'd be huffing. <laughs> <laughs> I could get one off. Well, I could get one off. No huffs you and puffs. You know what? You have a three floor walk up, so actually you do have endurance. <laughs> My bad. No, you know, it is so pathetic. To, <laughs> like the times I've been fucking recently afterwards, I'm just like. Oh, <laughs> just fucking. Oh, it takes just a fucking. lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it, yo, it's, honestly, we have to be more nicer to each other. It's like a lot of us is not working out a lot. We running after trains and shit, yeah. running after our Ubers, and that's the only cardio or Absolutely. exercise we're getting. So sex is a lot. It's well, a I just lot had COVID, 
So I'm already, I'm good. Don't worry. It's been when a week. When did you have COVID? Uh, when, when was two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? When yeah, was it? Two weeks ago. Yeah. You're still doing this? Yo, COVID, you fucking whack, it man. Sucked. It sucked. It was embarrassing. Up. We've had enough. <clears throat> you no. did what you needed to do. You wiped out the people that you needed <laughs> yeah. to wipe out. A lot of we cool want, restaurants closed. We want to move on. We want to stop. New York will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. So that first one after COVID Oh boy, was I barely like I was just and there's no way to be cool. No, just so out of breath, not no. regular out of breath. Just like you can't. You're like, I need a second here. I don't know. But if she signed up with you, she know what it is. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> she know what it is. If you know, no one's shocked when I'm out of breath. And puffing, she's like, <laughs> what did we just do here? <laughs> did we play patty cake with the hell? <laughs> That is true. You def if you, yeah if you fuck a fat guy and he's not out of breath, you know it wasn't a good time. Would you call yourself fat or uh, come on uh, out of shape? <laughs> come on. Now now you're being nice. <laughs> Hour and a half into the pod, you're like, wow. Would you even consider yourself fat? I remember the couple ones from earlier. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, brother. <laughs> Calm it down. <laughs> well, and now she's gaslighting me, yeah. Elvis. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, you know, you're just going to have to, yeah, go on a couple. If you want to be patient, whatever, mm. that's fine. And then you find someone and you kind of. We don't I, know where she lives, but I just want to say it don't matter what state or where you at. Yeah. It's, dating is bad right now. It's, it's bad. Fully bad. People are coming out. They don't know what they want. They don't know. They don't know what they're bringing to the table. All they know is that they want to be out, mm-hmm. and they are running away from so many things. So they come into your date and they shaky eye, <laughs> yeah. and, and then you're like, "Oh, I, I think I'll have sex with this person who's sweating profusely and <laughs> fucking just un, unraveling <laughs> all over the shrimp tempura." But I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's better to be like. Yo, just come over. Yeah. We the li- all the lights are going to be off. Mm-hmm. Just so you know. Maybe one light. I might have an incense. Mhm. Mhm. Or half a candle. Yes. <laughs> Bring the shit, get whatever you need and pound it out and you're leaving. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, I have had you're basically describing most of my dating <laughs> oh my in the last in the last like <laughs> Just because I've been I've been fucking gone, but it's like, you know, someone comes over, we show them a nice time, obviously. What's a know? nice time? I think we had this exact conversation that went on Stop You Solved Your Problems t- three years ago. <laughs> but, you know, maybe cook a, grill up a little something, maybe make a cocktail, movie. You know, I got the projector out there. It's a nice experience. I would love to be know? a fly. No, <laughs> I'd love to be a roach on the wall. <laughs> watching me. You put together a date night for a gathering. I love. I would love to see the, the craft singles you put on top How of dare a dare you? Car. We're doing better than craft singles. It's all good stuff. I love to see you get a little Oscar Myers boot. Come on, bitch. It's prosciutto. Imported, you fucking bitch. Accusing me of, of getting lunch, putting out Lunchables. The charcuterie, the charcuterie from C-Town. You say, yeah, girl, you see what we work You chop up a little celery and get you a little ranch dip. You got them pig in the blanket from Trader Joe's. I know how you do. All right, Trader Joe's, now you're getting warm. Now you're getting warm. <laughs> Yo, stop. Uh, we, how it can't be this fun. It just can't be. There's no way. It's not right. It literally is not right. Uh, 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 this, come on. Let's, we're on fire. Hit us with another one. <laughs> hey, Sav. Um, I got a friend that, um, I don't know how else to say it. He's just a, a fat piece of shit. Okay. But <laughs> he could have said it a lot of other ways. Still wants to bang tens, like nines. Is this you calling time. about me with a voice um, disguised? <laughs> but he's not getting like nines all the time. Um, but he's not getting uh, getting the idea that you know maybe he has to go through a few fives and sixes before he gets the confidence or a nine or a ten. Um, 
I don't know how to tell him that he has to lower his standards a little bit or lose some weight <laughs> um, before he gets into fucking, you know, 10 plus. So anything you can <laughs> tell me or tell my friend, that'd be great. Thanks. Love you, buddy. Bye. Can I start off? Please. Please. Sir, you can't even, you can't even deliver... A fucking note, <laughs> and you you are dragging your friend right. for being a fat piece of shit <laughs> right, who wants right. nines and tens. The right. nerve! Right. The nerve! Right. You're a bad friend. Yes. Two. Yes. Um. Hey, as as a person who know nines and tens, they probably will fuck him. Absolutely. So, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, oh, he's he's just his standards are just too high. He knows as a man the chances of him. Getting a nine or ten while she's down bad. Yeah. <laughs> at some fucking, you know, McCoy's bar. Yeah. Yeah. To it blastered on, on picklebacks. Mm -hmm. The chances are pretty damn high. Absolutely. Is he so, a good time? Yes. What, just, what, what don't, what, what don't what we do know you like? about why, your friend? Yeah. What, what, you need to explain why is he, is he a fat piece of shit? Is he a fat piece of shit because he's fat? Well, then you're fat phobic. Thank you. That's what you are. Go off. Because your, your big friend is living his big ass life yeah. and he's like yeah give me give me the tens yeah why, why not? not shoot for the moon and 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 it's not for you to tell him he can't get the nines he going to know when the when the phone is dry right. when the bitches are ghosting him they're not <laughs> right. showing up right. when they right. get to the restaurant and they see that he's taking up two seats yeah. <laughs> they don't walk when the way. booth is pushed <laughs> all the way to the end she can barely eat by her tits yeah. are hanging her tits are on the table yeah. he's taking it up yeah he'll know he'll know no, so who the hell are you? If right. anything, you're his friend. You're supposed to gas that motherfucker up. Gas Mark's fat ass up. Yeah. And be like, yeah, these hoes are dumb. They are. They will be there. You're king. You're king. You short king. Yes, you can't see your dick. Thank that's you. good. Yes. They love you. They're gonna love you. You're Absolutely. perfect. That's what. That's what your job is. Yes. I. I can't stand a fucking undercover hater ass friend. That's exactly right. I can't right. stand it. No, it this sucks. is. Because what is it to you? Right. Are you mad? You're mad that he believes in himself? A problem. That's your undercover hater is absolutely correct about this. That's the vibe of this entire call. Because mm -hmm. he didn't say he wants to bang nines and tens and it's been years and he hasn't gotten pussy. He's just said, this guy wants to do this. How am I going to tell him he can't? Has he? Have you even tried? Like you said, have you ever even tried to help him? Yeah, you're supposed to be his fucking friend. Man, yeah. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, and then he fucking goes back to the drawing board. But if he's just a fat, let me just like, I am proof positive a fat guy <laughs> can fuck hot girls. Like it's the other thing. And, and by the way, yeah, I'm successful and shit now. But I was a fat guy when you getting were getting pussy in Baltimore. Was I was I when I first got to New York. Saw yeah, it sure. With my own fucking <laughs> working eyes. <laughs> yeah. I went to the eye doctor and be like, I'm sure I'm seeing what I'm seeing. I said, Cindy, the fucking optometrist. Uh, yeah, I said, what I was broke getting pussy, on? no tooth. She it, saw it. I saw it, <laughs> and it was alarming. And then that made me be like, I have no faith in these bitches. Yeah, of course he's going to believe in himself, and he's going to follow through, and that's uh -huh. fine. But the right. problem is, well, this is what it could be, mm -hmm. right? It, sometimes it's one of those friends It's like, I need my group to aesthetically be the look. Right. And so you're here with your gut mm -hmm. hanging out. You don't know how to dress. You, yeah. You, but you feeling good about yourself. I'm not talking about you. Sure, sure, but, sure. And, and you're Thank like, you. I don't, you're looking bad. You're, you're not good for the room. You're not good for yes. the table. Yes, yes. And you, you might be getting nines and tens, but it's it's affecting you're my nines my and tens. You're vibes up. Yeah, yeah. You're messing sure, up sure, my nines sure. and tens. Or the type of nines and tens I want you, I don't want those type of girls. So maybe he's more like, you're not really making this a look for what I'm trying to do. Yeah. And that means this person might not be your friend like that. You don't care about them. Because right. if you, your friend is your friend, hey, some of your friends don't dress right or they they got a smell or their <laughs> shoes are linked over. You're inviting them to the party. Right. You don't right, care. You're right, like, right. hey, man, you going to let you people might know. say something. You're going to tell say, hey, buddy, my come friend, on. his shoes is linked over. Don't say nothing. <laughs> he's going through a tough he's, time yeah, right he's now. Going a he's been going through a tough time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's missing a tooth. So what? You can even make a joke. Yeah. You, you can make You can make a joke. He'll well, laugh at it. Absolutely. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, that, there's a lot to unpack here mm -hmm. where it's like... Um, 
what kind of guy is he, right? Because if it, like you said earlier, if he's just if it's just the fact that he's fat, then you yeah, this is not you are being fat phobic. Like, mm-hmm. but if he is, he's he's overweight. He is depressed. Yes. He doesn't dress like he's got a lot of stuff that he could fix. That's a different thing. But dude, every group. First of all, the classic, a fat guy in the crew. Is one of the best guys you can have in the crew. He's, He's so it fun. Alive. He's a fun guy, and and he, again, there is the archetype of is he that guy? Is he of is he a fat guy that dresses well, believes himself, all this stuff? Now, if you're calling in, because he said before he gets the confidence of a nine or a ten, and he's like, I don't know how to, t-, you know, he's worried about his friend's confidence. Is he worried about his friend's confidence? It's possible, right? Like he might have, he might just have very bad messaging here, but he can so, barely speak. So exactly. So we've based, we've covered the like. Hey man, if this guy has his shit figured out and he's he doesn't he doesn't lack for confidence, he's got the rest of his shit together. He's got you know he dresses okay. He's fun to be around. He's a fun guy. He can get there's a path to him getting nines and tens. Then you are a hater and you need to fix your shit. Right, you're the problem now. <clears throat> he said he's a fat piece of shit. <laughs> right. So the what we're yes. having a problem with, we need to get down to the bottom of we yes. Besides the fat part, he's a piece Why's of the, shit. What's the piece of shit part? Why is he is he hitting women? Is he cheating <laughs> right. on them? Is he giving them gonorrhea? Is like he what bad is to ma- be around? what is making he's got to be Either he's bad to be around, but you would have said that. You would have yeah. said he's always around. He he don't bring nothing to the table. You would have you would have said that. You didn't say that. So what it feels like mm-hmm. is that he is he is cool. People like him, and his fat ass wants nines and tens, yes. and it's bothering you. And you're mad because you fuck sixes or yes, whatever. Yes, that's what that you're... that is kind of the vibe I'm it's getting bu- too. You're boiling. Your, your right. edges are There's, gone. There is a yes. You're fucking a, upset. You're like there's a little of that going dare. on here. Avery, just how yes, how dare you? How dare this guy who I in my head value less than me mm-hmm. want things more than I think yes, I deserve? Preach. That's kind of what this feels like, yep. right? Yeah. So I would say if if we're if we're spot on there, you need to fix your heart. You're a fucking hater. It's you. It's you. Now, if we happen to be wrong, I don't think we are. Pardon, pardon. If we happen we to be, be wrong, wrong, we could be. We could absolutely not have hit the nail on the head. Exactly. So then, if we happen to be wrong. Then let's go back to what we said earlier, mm-hmm. a scenario we, we had earlier, where it's like, if he's overweight and he has a lot of shit wrong with him that he could fix, like, you know, th- you know, could dress a little better, um, is a little depressed, whatever. And then it's like, it's the advice I would give everyone, which is like, yes, confidence is super key. And I don't know that I would go with uh, fuck uglier women first. I would go with yeah, fix his I confidence. Would, I would say that. I would say like, I would say like, yeah, get an... You know, I don't even say this as somebody is that he has to lose weight, but it's like get him in the gym because he fe- it feels better when you work out a little bit. You start yeah. feeling a little better, right? You get a little stronger. Let's take a walk. When I was on the when I was on tour this whole time, I was I worked out all the time just because it made me feel better. I knew I wasn't going to be able to stay as healthy as I wanted to, but I was like, I'm still hitting the gym because the endorphins. I also like was getting stronger even though I was getting fatter. It was like just a little something, right? Um, and then yeah, fixes fi- you know. Get a nice outfit. Get get him a nice pussy getting shirt. You know what I mean. Fat guys, the classics. It's tracksuit season. All right. If you're a two XL and up, ASOS you- got some cute like little sweater yeah, they do. situations. They do. Yeah, and that good. Be patterns. cozy. Yeah. The fall is a great time to be a fat guy. It is. You know what I mean? You're People, it up. So, uh, th- some bitches might not have heat in their apartment. And we you don't. Know what I mean? You know what I mean? As an anemic girly, <laughs> we ain't got it. We got tons of comforters. Get him a cute... No heat. Get it. You know how much pussy I got in a cardigan in the fall? I Quite a it. bit. Yeah. So just... A little cardigan you know, cutie. Get him a couple outfits. Help him. You know, let him, let him start doing stuff to believe in himself. And that's his path. But... Yeah. And also for you, look inward. If we... Yeah. If we... Uh, diagnosed you accurately you gotta get the hate out of your heart and you, maybe you need to start believing in yourself as much as your tubby friend does um, heard you king yes thank talk you talk your shit felt good to get that off yeah <laughs> <clears throat> let's do a couple more elders we don't want to keep our friend here forever even though we could do him forever They're I so mean fun. literally we just <laughs> yeah. have <laughs> the best of times and by, before I mean we should all say if you want anything to plug people to follow you anywhere yeah all that kind of good stuff yeah that you, you heard Stavi you know the algo just doesn't doesn't do me right at it's times fucked up considering how like just mm-hmm. just 
pure you really Colombian uncut <laughs> yeah. comedy is going on here. Uh, but yeah, just follow me, follow me, mm-hmm. and tell the host to follow me too. For what sure. is it, Just Sid? Is just right? Sid BW on Instagram, J U S T S Y D B W. And then I have TikTok, but like I, I'm, tr- I don't know how to like master this TikTok yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. It's just like they're like hire someone. To do it. And I'm like, oh, that's not how I do my sucks. stuff. It's a lot of, I mean, luckily, thank God that just putting fucking crowd work clips is all I do. Because I could never actually like, what's up? You know what I mean? Do that kind of shit. Do but dances. actually you are, dude. You're good at it. I'm okay at it, but I've it's a lot of work. you do it. You're so great. It's it a, is lot a lot of work. work. I would rather just. A lot just, of moving around, huh? I'd rather just do stand. No, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, change in positions. It's not huh? that much moving around, all <laughs> things considered. Certainly, it's an amount I could handle. Uh, but yeah, it's just fucking boring and too much to do. I'm tired of learning new things. That's really what it comes down to. Done. It's like it's just when you're like, "Ooh, we get in there." I'm we good got at this. It. I'm good at this. Mm-hmm. I've by accident become good at podcast. I'm good at stand up. Just by accident, I've been podcasting for almost ten years you're now. Doing great, but stuff. I don't want. I don't need to learn new. So whatever the next thing is, can you imagine that? Because there's going to be something new. And that, I won't be here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah, be in yeah, another. Yeah. Hopefully, you're running a nice bed yeah. and breakfast with your another lesbian uni- wife. I'll be in another universe. <laughs> I will. I will be that little bug that's in, on the wall <laughs> watching you put your little Vienna sausages. You fry them up, cut them in half. Put a little oh, yeah. olives in the middle. Yeah, I'm sending her little uh, subliminal messages. Get ready <laughs> for a night of Vienna sausage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, play us a fucking call, Eldis. Hey, Sof. Hey, Eldis. I hope you're both having a great day. Thank and you. if you have a guest on, I hope you are similarly also having a great day. <laughs> Best day. My question is, Stav, what do you recommend for daily coping mechanisms Mm. during a hard situation? Uh, For context, I am a uh, 29-year-old lesbian with a homophobic mom, Mm. and I no longer speak to her. That was the correct choice for my situation, (laughs) but the daily reality still sucks, and I'm, of course, struggling. Yeah. Uh, I do enjoy drugs. I take dabs every day, and I'm not against doing <laughs> mushrooms, dabs. but I also haven't done them Whoa, since 2015, so that might dabs. be a bit of a dicey choice. Uh, what do you do when times are tough emotionally? I'm in therapy, so don't worry, but I'm still curious what you think. Thank you, and uh, everybody stay safe and take care. Bye-bye. Mm. Tough stuff. Did you? Your family homophobic? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you want to? You want to? You want to chime well, in? Baby, you, yeah. can't have, you can't have a solid gay without somebody in the back. You ain't shit. The Lord doesn't love you. You're gonna burn in hell. <laughs> you're gonna burn in hell. <laughs> you're gonna burn in hell. You're gonna die. You're gonna die alone. It's like actually, I'm gay. I'm gonna die with a whole bunch of people around me. Yeah, the yeah, gays, yeah. they pull up. <laughs> they will. Yeah. They're, um, they're all a good time. Uh damn. How do you cope? Uh, well, me, I'm, yes. I'm sober, so it's. I think it's even harder to cope. Mm. But um, I will say that you have to relinquish that. Because sometimes I feel like we blame ourselves for not if even if they're not homophobic, just like if your parents are not vibing with you, right, or you didn't make them proud or something like that. You we bl- we go to us. It's like it's my fault. It's my fault. But I always say they had the power. They made. A person they decided to do this and the person you made is not going to do everything that you want them to do and you have to be okay with that so now you're putting that on me no 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 no. right so i released myself after i was like hey my mom has so many years of like shit that don't have nothing to right. do with me absolutely how she's treating me it's not my fault yes you know yeah and so um that is i think that is most of the strain is not blaming yourself Mm -hmm. So once you take that off and like really move, you'll be able to not have to rely on, you know, dabs or mushrooms. I heard that everybody's microdosing right now. Yeah, mushrooms are mushrooms. Everybody, everybody's microdosing mushrooms. I wish I could, you know, just microdose Coke, but (laughs) I heard it's not possible. No, Um, no, you'll be macrodosing very, (laughs) very soon after that. (laughs) Never overdose though. Never (laughs) overdose on no cocaine, baby. I was a pro. You were Um, on the bike. You were were, were sweating it out. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, but you're in therapy. That's good. 
Um, do you need meds? I don't. I I'm not yeah, a psychiatrist. We don't know, we we don't don't know, know that. that. But um, I mean, being around people who make you feel good, yep. yeah. listen to good podcasts. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the hard thing here is that like, what's really difficult is that this is just a thing that is going to be brutal for most of your life. There's yeah. no way around it. This is the kind of thing that like, it's like you know, it, it's like a kind of a hole in who you are that you have to like that th things will grow around it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you'll fill it with, you'll fill it to a certain extent with love from other people, with other things, other things you're, but like having to cut a parent off, it, a, a child should never be in that position. Mm -mm. And I think that's the other thing that's kind of helping here is like when you're feeling down about it, understanding that you're feeling right. You know what I mean? Yes. Like you're not in the, it's not, not only don't blame yourself for this, yeah. but also know that like being sad is part of it. Right. Mm -hmm. But it, it a it gets easier, right? The longer the longer you've made your life away from this person, the longer you understand they're not good for you. Whatever your life is going to be better. Yes, when you're not dealing with that toxic toxicity and like trying to make them feel mm -hmm. okay with the decision you've made for your life. Yes, absolutely. That will get the, like over time. That just will get better. And just understanding that like that's all this is. This is like a. It's like the time heals all wounds thing. This is a big wound, right? Having a parent that does not support you f is fucking brutal. It's it's like fundamental to our like I, our psychology, mm -hmm. and it's like and and so that's going to be tough. The good news is a lot of people deal with this, right? You there are people who understand your situation, and there's people you can find in your life that can take parts of that relationship, right? No one is ever going to re replace a good biological parent. Like mm -hmm. a lot of us that are fucked up are going to be, you're going to be missing that a little bit, but you know, there's definitely mentor. There's people in your life that you find as mentors. There's just friends that, that fill in, you know, fill in those, 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 uh, gaps here and there. You know, I don't know if I would take dabs every day. I was somebody, I was with you, right? <laughs> I don't want to judge because, you know, I've had a, I had a similar Dab situation. Just smoking weed it's or? just a lot. It's just like very strong. Mass. Weed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like hash, Basically, it's like hash wax. Basically, oh, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just is it very, weed very with strong. Meth? No, no, no. Hash is just like super. It's like weed concentrate, okay. basically. Um, and it's tough because I don't want to judge you either because I'm like, well, that's not good for you. But then I think about, I was in a similar situation probably at this point, what five, six years ago, and that does. Now that I think about it, that does coincide with the couple years of our lives where we were high as shit every day <laughs> and eating up to two pints of ice cream a day. It you was were, fucked up You were up having an here. issue with your parents? Yeah I, had a, yeah, I had an issue with my dad. And so it was just like, and when I was fresh off that... Did y'all fix it? We're kind of, we're in a weird way getting there. Okay, like, that's good. Like, you know, there's, there's, been some, there's been some progress. Um, you have to be, oh, that's another thing. You have to be open to, like, whatever solutions there is, unless, like... They're just, they're, totally, not, they're totally. not working with you. And, and that's the thing. It's like, I would say this is kind of like a double-edged sword because for me, you know, it was, it was, it was more complicated than like homophobic, homophobic parent in some ways it's, it's more devastating obviously because on some level they'll never accept you. But on, on the other level, it's like, well, I, I don't even have to hold out hope that it might get fixed. You know what I mean? You're like, no, this person's gone I'm not, I'm not, I'm never expecting anything from them. And for me, I did have to get to a point where I was like, I just assume, you know, I assume we'll never fix it, right? And so I'll just live my life that way. And, you know, <clears throat> after a certain point, that kind of gets easy. There were definitely, there's definitely sad moments, but you're like, fuck it. I'm, and there's also a pride that builds up over time when you do figure your shit out without yeah. that, where you're like, I figured it out, man. I didn't fucking do it. And then I would see my friends who, didn't really like their parents have to go to these fucking bullshit Father's Days, and I'm like, I ain't gotta worry about that. I'm chilling on Father's. I'm getting yeah. the fuck. I'm getting the charcuterie board out. I'm getting my dick sucked on Father's yeah. Day. I'm not going to a barber. I'm not having to go play golf and, and you know give my dad a tie or whatever the or fuck. Or just a turmoil that you have to do because they're just putting up with this like this thing that is never ending and it's not going to get yeah. better. I mean, I and this is crazy because. I cut off my mom, mm -hmm. and it wasn't just the homophobia. It was just, like, she, yeah. narcissist, yeah. just super, like, 
you're going down a rabbit hole of like I'm a trauma dump, yeah, blaming blah blah blah, totally. And so we stop talking, um, and then every time I would be like, okay, I'm gonna try to give her a chance. She'll find a way <laughs> yeah. to fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She'll lie and be like, I'm I'm terminally ill, and it's like Damn. we're waiting on you to die. Babe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, didn't die. you didn't think this one through. You didn't right, think. right. You're right, not gonna right. die. You know that right. when you lie like that, you're not gonna die, and we've been waiting. Yeah. Um, and then. Um, <laughs> And then this is crazy. When I was in L.A., uh, my mom got sick and I had to go. My brother, like, gave me the business. He's like, Damn. you need to go see your mother. Like, the, I like I think this is it. Wow. Like, this is for you to do. And at first I was like, I just ain't got nothing to do with yeah. it. And <laughs> yeah, I went yeah, to the yeah, hospital yeah. and I saw and, like, she didn't know how to say sorry. But, like, she basically right. kind of, I, like, saw, like, She's yeah. sorry, whatever. And right. then you let that go and she passed. Oh, and wow. um, you know, I see what my brother and my sister and my niece, people who just like kept like kept doing yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm free from that. Right. And I can literally be like, damn, I wish we had a better relationship, but I'm happy with the decision that yeah, I made. Absolutely. I can't I can't have that in my life because the way I'm living that was not going to make sense. Yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah. be constantly trying to make my mom be in my life. Yeah. And when she's already tapped out. Right, right, she right. She said, you gay as fuck. Yeah. She yeah, said, you yeah, ain't yeah, no yeah, Kiki yeah. Palmer. That's what she said to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what she said to Homophobic me. and a hater. Yeah. <laughs> and just, <laughs> ain't no and just Kiki a, Palmer. Just a clean yeah, hater. Uh, yeah. And no, no disrespect to Kiki Palmer. She said, Kiki Palmer, that was the epitome yeah. of making it. Kiki yeah. and I said, yeah. oh. "Well, Kiki was a little gay. She's kiss yeah. girl, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a little bit. She's Kiki. got a sprinkle. Yeah, um, yeah. And so that's, I mean, that's really. So you're just in. If this is new, just understand that it's just going to be difficult. And yeah. then, like, I would say, I hate to be this guy. I hate to be like the Ooh, let me hear. the guy who used to do, who used to get fucked up every day. And I'll still do mushrooms from time to time. But it's like, you don't have to do it now." But you should just get, you got to get off the habs. You don't want to do them every day. I've been there. There's something nice about being in a fugue state, like only being useful like three hours a day and then retiring your brain for the rest of the day. I've been there. It's I get hard. that. But I do think, hard. I think the goal has to be like, it's so, it sucks because everything you've ever heard about like health is true. It's just like, you feel better when you're not on drugs. <laughs> you feel better when you eat well. You feel better when you exercise. And so... Um, Damn, stop. You talking... It sucks. Oof. It sucks that I it's that simple. I see you getting them draws when you're talking like that. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you're like, it sucks that it's that simple. So... Um, Give me some provolone. On yeah. the top of my <laughs> I got a baby bell for you. <laughs> I, I got a baby bell. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so yeah, you're in therapy. You're doing everything you need to do. And if this is kind of, kind of like close to when it happened, the dabs and the thing is like it's understandable and do what you need to do to kind of get through a tough time. Yeah. But know that the like your guiding light should be. I can get through this stuff without, and you can, and you definitely you can. literally can. Both you the people, both the people you're talking to right now, have gone through this and have been like, have been fine, yeah. and so um, that's really it. I mean, it's going to be difficult. I would say do what you need to do in the short term, and then slowly try and replace. I mean, for me, a lot of it was my career. I just, I, I really dove head first you the last well. couple years, yeah. you know? And it's like, and the next thing I want to do is focus on my health after. Money will help. You know, yeah, money has helped. I will I will say that. Um, but it's just like, I would say find healthier things to help you cope over time. I'm not going to be a narc that's telling you to get sober right away. Um, oh, but tell also ask your friends for help. Get, Absolutely. Get a circle of people who can be there for you and understand and, and some yes. people who also get the dynamic and walk you through it and because you can't do it alone. You totally. really can't do it alone. And there's people who are very close with their parents and then there's people who are kind of distant and get find that middle ground. And I will say being with people who are very close with their parents all the time is triggering. Yeah. It's really triggering. It's also embarrassing to be one like we make fun of JP all the time. JP <laughs> McDade, our boy um, he's on the road with me. He opens for me. He's on the podcast every month. He does a Patreon with us. Being a guy who fucking loves his dad is so fucking lame. Being a guy who's like, my father 
he's the man I respect the most. <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck. What are you? What are you a fucking baby? <laughs> like, there's yeah. like having too good a relationship is actually so embarrassing. It's gross. <laughs> like, it's it's like, gross, and it's like, why are you doing comedy? <laughs> yeah. You're loved. It's kind of like, and if you if your jokes are not hitting, that's why. Yeah. Because you're loved. <laughs> Too much love. Mm -hmm. Luckily, JP, you know, I guess had other forms of not love. He's a great comic, but the, <laughs> be believing his father, loving his father so much, re and, you know, there's an appropriate amount. So at least you're not one of those embarrassing people, too. <laughs> that's a positive. Yeah. You know, I'd rather be us than them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, good luck, pal. It is gonna, you know, there's no way around it, though. And yeah, that's a great point. Have a support system. I was very lucky. I lived with Eldis. I lived with other, like, I lived with Eldis and another one of my best friends at all times in this apartment. So we had a really nice little, like, kind of little fake family thing going on here. And I also got closer with my siblings as a result when we kind of talked our shit out about, like, hey, this is how I feel. Don't you feel like our childhood was fucked up? Mm -hmm. And that brought me and my brothers much closer together, which we had problems in when we were younger. So... That's other stuff I would say. It's just look for your support system and understand it's going to be a little tough, but yeah. you're doing the right thing. <clears throat> Eldis, why don't you find a nice one, a nice fun one for us to go out yeah, on? Yeah, fun one. Let's see what that you got. Was, that was dark. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was, that was heavy for both of Sad us. damn, bitch. <laughs> I just came here to talk shit. Call Stop me back. <laughs> Come here, Bobbage. <laughs> Hit us, Eld. Hey, Stavi. Quick question for you, probably applicable to a lot of people. I'm in dating mode now, using mm. Hinge mainly, and I get a respectable number of matches and likes, but I find that a lot of the time I don't know what to write at the first message, so I put mm. it off to the point that it's probably weird to message, so I just don't. Oh, come um, on. I figure you don't use these apps that much as you are now, but what do you recommend as good strategies to kind of set up a conversation, come off flirty, and not be weird? I feel like I'm fine talking to people in most contexts, but I'm just too in my head about this. So any, uh, any advice would be great. Thanks. Well, I mean, right off the bat, if you're not even fucking messaging them, who gives a fuck what you say? You're batting zero. This is the old... You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah. You could say anything and you'd have a better chance than what you're doing now. So that should be some kind of, that should make you feel good. You're already batting zero. Say anything and you have a better opportunity. I already know that you're like, you're a pretty sane person because you're like, I don't want to be weird. I don't want to. Right. Because the weird people are fucking saying yes. anything. Yo, I would love your fucking dead pinky toe <laughs> in my mouth right now. What's good, bitch? Like, that's the stuff that people are writing yeah, and yeah, they're yeah, yeah. pressing. Not, yeah, yeah, they didn't yeah. Forget have about it. it. Chat to, yeah. You know, so I think half the time is like we be our own, like, blockers yes and it's a, a high works uh yeah you know i saw this that that's dope like i'm into that too it's yeah. you could be very basic it's okay yes you're going up against a ton of people mm -hmm. but it's better to be authentic than to be this what you think is cool right, right and play right. these games and then get these people that you're not supposed to be talking to anyway yeah i mean at the very least yeah you're right you're at the point where saying hi is better than saying nothing um our elders what was your old the classic Sula. Yeah, it was awesome. It got it got like awesome and easy for me when I just treated it like a carpet bomb thing, and I was <laughs> yeah. like, I'm just gonna try to match with whoever I can, and then yeah. like only send messages to the girls that you know rise above the <laughs> yeah. rise above the fold. And I just started every single thing with sup all lowercase and the sunglasses emoji, <laughs> and that's like, and that's like, I think I think that's a good approach because it just like you know. The emoji makes it like a little fun, right? But, but it's you're basic. not embarrassing yourself, like trying to make some specific joke tailored yeah, to yeah. that was your profile. Yeah. And it's like you know, if they're into it, they'll like respond to that. They're like, okay, this exactly. is normal, kind of cute, whatever. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So, basic I, bitch shit. I, let me tell you, you have to be okay with rejection. Absolutely, it's okay. You're not gonna get people writing back. People are not. And you know, you gotta be okay with that. And then sometimes they're going to respond and you be like, why the fuck did I write you? Because I wrote this girl and I said, hi, with an exclamation part. And she mm -hmm. wrote back in all caps, what do you want? And I said, 
oh, dick. Wow. I don't want this. I want a man. Because yeah. if I roll him high, he right high back. Yeah, why are you like, hello, make this beautiful. More complicated? Hello, princess. Yeah, why are you making this more complicated? <laughs> yeah. Do I owe you money? Are you mad at me? Do you already know me? Like, what? what is this? <laughs> yes. Now yes. I'm starting off, yeah. I'm on defense. Right. No, you know? no. Totally. That's those vibes are all the way fucked up. Yeah, so it's like you got to understand, hey, there's going to be it is going to be weird if not on your part, their part. Yeah. Like, there's going to be people who are going to be like, "Nah, I'm not with it." And that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. You just got to keep going. And in fact, actually I think a really nice thing is go into everything assuming you're going to get rejected. And then when it doesn't happen, hey, great bonus. Like go in who as cares? if Stavi was like, "I didn't know these girls wanted to do a threesome." Yeah. <laughs> yes, and yes, then yes. You're going to get a threesome. Go in belly full of Chinese food. No no belief in yourself whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, the old Sula method the sup with the sunglasses emoji. Car- carpet bomb with a cute <laughs> yeah. emoji. Right, right, right. The right. first message, too, is just like, you know, that's like so early in the process before anything actually matters. Like, mm-hmm. nothing matters until you get to the actual date. Like, things can fall through at any Absolutely. second. Absolutely. Yep. Even the messaging. Like, don't spend a ton Do of effort on it. Do not spend the time on the that's message. Infor- that's meet information boom, gathering boom, 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 boom. logistics. Yeah. yeah, meet Do-do-do-do-do. quick. Do. That's yes, it. exactly, exactly. Hey, what's up? Are you free Wednesday? Good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That going back and forth and that then three back can, and forth yeah. tops. <laughs> and you can talk yourself out of. The I day. did. I used to do that all the time. I used to like when I would. I would over. I was an overthinker when I was fresh on the apps, and I would do exactly what you said, Elders. Like try and get something specific. And listen, when it works, it really works. But then, like most of the time, it's just like you know. And I would. I would over talk whatever. And then when I was just like ah. I'm going to treat this as like, yeah, like you said, until you meet, it's like, it's like a person in your phone. It doesn't really, you know what I mean? Like meet in person as quickly as possible. Don't waste getting to know. Cause also the vibe can shift. So that would, that would happen to me sometimes. People are bad like, via text. Yeah. They're bad. Or also they're just reading. Or what if on, they're, they're different? On, they're online too much. Yeah. So they're chronically like talking and writing and what they think they're supposed to so you don't have a real gauge of who this person is you're like let's me here you yeah. don't have to be dinner it's just be like, hey we're gonna drink or tea yep. or whatever yep. yep get to know them and then you'll realize most of these people are weird totally most of people are nerds exactly most of people ain't got no money it's fine <laughs> yeah 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 and the first date is a pure getting to know that's yep. like that should be what like that should be essentially uh, con- that should be your first real conversation. And it's like, don't go into the first date thinking about too much. Just see, do I actually hit it off with this person in person? And you know how you do that? This is like the three things. You come to the date, like, what's the thing that made you laugh this mm-hmm. week? Um, uh, something that, like a an old memory that you had or like a dream or experience that was like, also really funny, mm-hmm. and then something that you're looking forward to. Okay. Because these are three positive, poppy fun, things. Fun prompts. That, like, you'll have, they, they can't say no to this. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it kind of shows what kind of person you are. And it, we're not dumping yes. the trash. No, 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 We're not no, talking no. about current events. No, We're not no, talking no, about no, religion no. and church no, and state. No. Stuff that can fuck up no. the vibes. Just you know? feel, the, yes, feel the vibe out as quickly By as possible. By the third date, you should find out if somebody's Republican. But <laughs> yeah. the first date, you should not. No, certainly not. Um, and if it become, and then if anyone is really pushy about all that shit, that's a red flag. Drop. Either way, We're either done. way, even if you, you there's people that I've the agreed Uber with. App. You're like, you know what app I'm on? Uber, because I'm gonna get <laughs> yeah. up out of here. <laughs> I'm about out of here, bro. Gotta go. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so good luck to our pal here. We hope you get some matches, buddy. It's gonna be good. You're gonna be and great. Don't overthink it. Literally, in fact, do us a favor. Try Eldest's method for Sup. 20 matches. Shit, I'm about to do it. Sup <laughs> sunglasses. I'm about to do it. And let us and call back and let us know how it went. Truly. That got Eldest plenty of uh we won't look. I don't <laughs> I won't say what came out. Well, I don't say what I don't say what fish took that bait. You got a girl now? <laughs> oh, he's a happily married man. Uh, happily oh, shit. married. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's good. Out. He's good. You just it's a numbers game. Really. Oh, that's interesting. You didn't it wasn't no, sup. Worked. Yeah, it was. Sup sunglasses got you your wonderful wife? That's right. Wow. Look at All that, All these folks. women are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you care? <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> All that shit they talk to their friends, a sup got that bitch. So don't care. 
Shout out to your wife. Amen. She's, amazing. She's the best. She really is. She's doing uh, great work over there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us. Sid, thank you so much. This was so fun. It's great stuff. Um, go follow Sydney. Please. Go see her in person. Please. Um, and yeah, we, we definitely we got to have you back. There's so much more we, we need to talk about. Oh, yeah, but we did. We didn't so, even this is so fun. A, Barely scratched the surface. Yeah. But uh, that's going to do it for us. For, oh, and I should say, uh, my special... And so by the time this comes out, it's already announced. Uh, December 5th, coming out. Fat Rascal on Netflix. Go watch it, folks. That's crazy. Um, very excited for it. So thank you. That's it, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.